Whoops, I've got to switch the loop off. Oh no. Oh, that's a shame. Right, oh, big up to fucking hell, nearly a K in here. Wow, fucking wow. I ain't touched a magnum all year, you know. I ain't touched a fucking magnum all year, but hey, let's pull one out. Pull one out, people, for the most pathetic final. I think I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe some of the game management that I saw today. I, I, I genuinely don't know why I, I even bothered. Why did I even fucking bother going to the fucking game? Every, this was the last bit of hope. The last fucking bit of hope. And 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 this this dickhead, this fucking satanic, tyrannical piece of shit, defends for penalties against an under twenty one side. Ah, oh, I don't even know where to begin. I, I I don't even know where. Where's my mic, by the way? I'm not even set up properly. Where's my fucking mic? Where's my fucking mic? Let me set this up properly, so. No, my, I need people to hear me loud and fucking clear today. One second, one fucking second. Just fucking get in, you fucking cunt. Right, so let me sort the mic out. Do you want to recognise my microphone or what? Fucking dead. There we go. There we go, alright, cool. Let me bring this mic close. Bring this mic close because I want people to fucking hear me when I say this. Get this dickhead out tonight. Tonight. I do not want to wake up tomorrow and see this guy in the job. 
But I already know I'm going to. I already know I'm fucking going to. Watch this club stagnate and stagnate by the fucking week. This shit is a joke. Fucking joke, bro. Let me turn this mic up as well. That should be it. That should be it. Right, testing one, two. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can hear me. Fucking cowardice. Cowardice. A against a fucking youth side. This is really what we're on. B biggest game of the season. You have Liverpool literally waving the white flag, taking off the, the little experience that they have. And what do we do? What do we do? We wave the white flag straight back at them. Some the, the game management at extra time was pathetic. We actually wanted to take it to pens. But go on. Blame the age of the squad on this one. Blame the age of the squad on this one. How inexperienced was that Liverpool team that was starting at the end of the game? And yet they were still in fucking control throughout, throughout extra time. But I know exactly what people are going to say. Oh, you had, we had a little clutch period in the last 20, 30 minutes and we should have buried our chances. Yeah, we should have buried our chances. But guess what? If we did score one of those chances, people would have actually pretended like we played well. Or they would have just ignored it because of the fact that we had won the cup. Nah, 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 nah. That performance was fucking pathetic. It was fucking putrid, outrageous, disgraceful, disgusting. In a cup final, you spend all season preparing for this. You get given a half injured Liverpool side. No Sobazai, no Jota, no Salah. And we're still, we're still getting dominated. We still look clueless. The, the amount of times that we tried to play the ball forward and there was zero structure. We were just making it up as we go along. Just God willing, Cole Palmer wakes up until he does in the second half. That was our tactics. I, I saw about 60, 70 minutes of hoofball to Jackson and pray. Hoofball to fucking Jackson with Van Dyke and Kanate at the back. Is this what we're on? Is this what we're fucking on? But hey, 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 trust the process. Believe in the manager. He's got a plan, innit? he? And yeah, 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 what was the plan? Hoof ball to fucking Jackson and pray. Pray. What's, what's the point of me even asking for this guy to get sacked at this point? What's the point? What's the point? I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow and this fucking wanker's still going to be in the job. He's still going to be in the fucking job. And then what? we got to go to play Leeds. Now we've played 120 minutes of football. And we've lost. And we've lost. And you're playing a Leeds side that's unbeaten in nine. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, we're going to wait for him to throw that game away too. Then we'll say, oh, maybe we should get rid of the manager. You're moving, you're moving too late. Let me tell you, tomorrow is going to be a cook session, regardless of whether Poch is in or out. Because if he's out, they've taken too long. If he's in, I mean, what's the point of you lot anyway? What's the fucking point? Like, we have had how many games now where you could have sacked him and you didn't do it? You didn't fucking act. How many fucking games is it going to take? You want to pretend that we still are in the race? Oh, yeah, because what? United lost to Fulham. Yeah, because we're definitely going to capitalize on that, aren't we? Mr. Consistency, we are. Mr. Fucking Consistency, we are. Yeah, we're, we're going to overturn that nine-point gap, aren't we? There actually be people that delude themselves into thinking it. Guess what? There's still people that are potching, by the way. There are still people that are potching. And at this point, you lot are beyond saving. You are straight beyond saving at this point. Because 
You can't talk to me about inexperience after that game. You, you can't talk to me about that. You can't talk to me about fitness. We had to take a fucking Chilwell and Gallagher for fucking fitness against a Liverpool team that played four days ago. Four days ago. And, and we're the ones that are meant to be tired. What? What are we fucking on? Oh, it's driving me fucking insane. It's genuinely driving me fucking nuts. The man, the man played for fucking penalties against a, an injury-prone, inexperienced Liverpool side with about four or five NPCs from fucking Anfield. And, and he's, he's still in charge? He's still in charge? Finito. Benito, like, like, no build-up shape at all, non-existent midfielders, by the way, we will talk about individuals as well, we will, don't forget that, but hey, what, what does it say about the manager if everybody's playing poorly, just what, just want to ask you lot that, what does it say about the manager if everybody is playing like a bag of shit, what does it say about his structure, what does it say, tell me, because the only player that I think had a consistent game was Petrovic. And if your goalkeeper is the only one that's playing well, it says a lot about the sort of game that you had. We, we got given the easiest, easiest chance to beat this Liverpool team. And we fumbled it. We fucking fumbled it. Waved the white flag like a bunch of bitches because we have a bitch in charge. A, a man brought on Chalabar. A man brought on Chalabar and, and put Gusto at left back. With seven minutes left to go in the game. Like what? What? And individually, by the way, yeah, yeah, we were not good enough. Cole Palmer didn't wake up till the second half. Jackson, like, I don't have any energy for Jackson. We, our, our tactics were hoofball to Jackson. I don't have any words to describe him. Sterling needed to drive at players a bit more. Mudrick came on and did the square root of fuck all. Same as Madueke. Enzo, I think, dropped the worst performance of the season from him. That guy got ran through like, like a fucking posse in the red light district. Caicedo, couple tackles here and there. That's about it. Gallagher should have buried his chances. Got a bit better towards the second half. First half, he weren't doing great. Actually, no, no, no. First 20 minutes. I'll say after that, at least he was drawing a few fouls. But, I mean, bar Petrovic, everyone was meaty to crap. Everyone was meaty to crap. But, but do not, do not let that deflect from the manager. Because that's what people will do. That's what people will do. They'll be like, oh, you should have scored this. You should have scored that. And then you say Pochin and all of that. Now, fuck off. Fuck off. That, that game was disgraceful, regardless of the chances being taken or not. It's just if we had taken one of them, we might have sniffed the copium and pretended like it was a good game. And so now we have this manager coming out and saying, oh, I'm proud of the players. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Lowering the standards of this fucking football club by the week. By the fucking week. Look at the state of this fucking obese prick. I don't know how you could describe this situation, but for sure I feel proud. They made a big effort. We are a young team and nothing to compare to Liverpool's fucking C team. You cunt. You piece of shit. That's not even Liverpool's A team. That is not even their A team. We're a young team and nothing to compare to Liverpool. I fucking hate you, bruv. Let, let me show you a little stat, by the way. Let me show you a little quote, by the way. Let me show you a little quote from, from a real manager. A real manager. When you start accepting defeats just because your team played well and because your players gave their best, a performance of people to be proud of, I think when you get used to it, that's when the big clubs stop being big clubs. And look where we are right now. Look where we are right now with this fucking satanic manager. I feel proud. They made a big effort. Huh?
I, I, I don't even have the words for it. I don't even have the words for it. People have defended this brother for months. For him to just be proud of that cowardly, cowardly effort. All because, like, let's sniff a little copium and let's pretend, oh, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool. The mighty Liverpool. Fuck off. Just fuck off. You absolute disgrace. This mentality is going to f seep into the players of this squad too. It's going to feed into all of them. He even admitted that we were going for penalties against a Liverpool team that were tired and were throwing on NPCs and were basically waving the white flag. The team felt maybe the penalties would be good for us. How about you tell them, fuck that, that team is there for the taking. But nah, you're a loser. You're a loser. All you know is to protect and you can barely even protect well. Two goals from two set pieces as per fucking usual. As per fucking usual. You disgrace. You absolute disgrace. Man's just saying anything he can to make it look like it was a good game because he knows his entire season was dependent on this fixture. And he went and gave me that. Sitting back waiting to get beaten by a bunch of fucking under 21s. This is where we're at. This is where we're fucking at. With this fucking dickhead manager. Directors are too late, whether they move or not. But hey, I, I mean, I, I guess there's still an FA Cup to pretend we can play for. I guess there's still that. Although maybe it will take us getting knocked out of that for the remaining potch inners to finally admit that they've been chatting out of their fucking bum hole for the last six months. But hey, some people are still potching. You guys wait till you see my fan cam on Chelsea Fan TV because Alex is still potching, by the way. And like, I, I just, I don't have the words. Big up to Alex, but I don't have the words anymore. I just don't. I give up. I just, I, I fucking give up. I give up. If you're still potching at this point, you're beyond saving. You're beyond saving. And if anything, you're going against this club. Because I, I, I mean, seriously. Seriously. What will it fucking take? What will it fucking take? There was a few more quotes from him. The players started to lose their energy. Chile felt really, really tired. Gallagher, after five minutes, we needed to change. The team felt maybe penalties would be good for us. The effort was massive. Go fuck yourself. And per first off, th this Liverpool team played four days ago, by the way. This Liverpool team played four days ago. Four fucking days ago, mate. And, and, and we're the tired ones. We're the tired ones. It's the same thing like Manchester City, where it's like, oh, we had to make those substitutions. The players were tired. I'm sorry. We play one game a week. We play one game a week. Under Conte, we had the braziest tempo because we played one game a week. And now we have players that can't play full 90s. Or 120 because, oh, God forbid they have to play another 30. God forbid. This is another indictment on the coach. Because how? How? And then you get people like this saying, don't get twisted by Lewis. It was Gallagher who lost us the game because he missed his chances. Gallagher should have buried his chances, but spare me this copium. Because this is what people want. People want someone to just bag a goal and then just ignore the entire 90 minutes. I've been saying, if we got an experienced goal scorer in this squad, I promise you all he does is paper over the cracks of this shit manager and his shit player development and his shit game management. But hey, no, no, this is the thing. We blame about we blame the individuals. How I keep telling you, we do not dominate a 90-minute game under this manager. We never do. We never do. 
Every single time, it's like goals in phases of the game. Don't tell me that for any period other than maybe the last 15 or 20 were we ever dominating. Because we weren't. I was stressed out of my fucking life for the whole 120 minutes in that game. The whole 120 minutes. And I always go back to when it was Thomas Tuchel in charge. Because when Tuchel was in charge, we'd have games where we were dominating and making a lot of chances. And we weren't burying it. And then I understood. This. No, like I think people, all people do is just write down any big chance that we make and just say, oh, you should have scored this one, this one, this one, this one. Because like every player has 100% finishing accuracy. Every player. You need to create high volumes of chances. I don't know how that's so fucking hard. How is that hard to understand? In fact, there's a couple super chats I haven't even gone through. I just need to get a lot of shit off my chest. Big up to Vesco for the donation. Big up to Dawid saying, Potch out now. Would you take Tuchel back? I would literally take anybody bar Oli or Lampard over this prick. Big up to Kosovo Baller saying, Chelsea F football clubs start becoming a big club after that shit show of a final, I'm guessing. Changes need to happen. Spineless today. Facts. Facts, but I doubt it's going to happen. F the owners who hired this clown, Bowley out. Get get the directors out again. Like There's no point chanting Bowley out and the guy ain't leaving for eight years. Um, A2 Skills says, can we have an emergency pod? Well, here is the emergency pod, my friend. Big up to Pachara saying, how many finals are we going to lose to Liverpool? Another one. Another one. Um, so him Ratcliffe saying, Dudu Gallagher, where's that bitch Ziad singing at? Well, first off, big up Ziad. But second of all, like, I'm, I'm, I can't even really pinpoint any individuals because everybody was meaty to poor, bar Petrovic. Gusto, I think, got better in the second half. But fuck me, some of his first touches were absolutely awful. Absolutely awful, especially the ones by the byline. I think he gave up like three, four throw-ins off that. Um, thank you for the donation. Uh, big up to Cenac saying, well, we're here now. It's beyond obvious potch out. But the way we lost is on the directors now. They have to go. Don't care if they found Gusto, Petrovic, etc. Get a director of football soon and let them fix up for the summer. I hear it. There's no point. There's no point even trying to defend them. There isn't. Some of the incomings have been great and everything. But the manager ID has sucked. It's tanked another season and you guys are not acting. So get out. Get out. Your mentality is in the mud too. Big up to Strasbourg, Steve, saying we mud brothers. Yep, we mud brothers. <sighs> Big up to uh, Ant's Leicester fan channel saying Chilwell starting on a 12-year-old, huh? What was Chilwell doing? Are you, are you talking about the stuff with Connor Bradley? By the way, another dumb yellow. Another stupid yellow. Oh, by the way, the inconsistencies of yellows are crazy because I saw Van Dyke kick the ball away and he never got booked. How many yellow cards have I seen my club have for that? Like, zero consistency. But that's like, I'm not even going to pretend like that impacted the game in any way. Obviously, it didn't. Obviously, it didn't. Um, Figure Jishin, but I, I, I ain't reading all that. I ain't reading all that, but thank you for your donation. Big up to Daniel saying, every time we lose, they blame Bowley. It's just a generic excuse for this manager and players missing chances. Facts. Facts, I mean, but like everyone, everyone should be getting some sort of blame. I'm not going to go at people for saying, um, and for being anti Bowley at this point, for being anti anything. I don't care. This club is an absolute mess right now. It's an absolute mess. I am, I, I am not defending or protecting anybody except Petrovic. Big up Petrovic. You kept the scoreline decent again. Big up my guy. You you deserved a lot better again, again. Bar that, like I, I think it's shameless to try and pretend anybody else had a good game. It really is. Enzo was poor. Caicedo was poor. Gallagher was poor. The entire back four was just meaty. Going forward, we look disjointed as fuck. Just make it up as we go along, or we hoof it and pray we can try and make something from it, and then we don't. Managers a prick. Directors are pricks. Bowley. I hope Bowley saw that. I hope Bowley and Igbali saw that and they act. You guys are right there front and center for that shit. No excuses. You can't pretend you can't watch that. I hope you lot saw that. What process is that? What process is that? 
Big up to Scott saying CNAC is spitting, said in the group chat, I want to see a single under 23 player come in the summer. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed. Hear it. Um, big up to Jorgen saying Super Bowl and Carabao lost the same Spursy way. Sorry to hear. You're not even getting any copium from there. Big up to Dawood saying which one, Oshimen, Jokerez, or Tony in the summer. I, I don't care. I don't care. Like, my answer is just yes. I don't care. Like, I really couldn't give a shit. But thank you for the donation. But, like, our, our biggest problem is, is, is this guy. This is this guy front and center on that tweet. Him. He's our biggest problem. We have to get rid of him first. Big up to Crawley Eagle for the donation. Appreciate everybody that's in here regardless. Like, this, this fucking day has just been outrageous. It's taken about two and a half hours to get home. I've got Scouse voices just ringing in my fucking ears. All this just to lose to a bunch of under 21s and then people will talk to me about, oh, age and inexperience. Fuck off. Fuck off. This manager don't have a clue. He ain't got a clue. And that's our biggest problem. The, the fact that Liverpool managed to bring on a bunch of nobodies and still managed to look in control of the game, if that's not a bigger indictment of how out of depth this manager is, you guys are lost in the source. You guys are lost in the source and you are beyond saving. Beyond saving. Absolute disgrace. Fucking crap, man. There's a couple chances in the first. Like, someone sent me this video of Enzo. What the fuck happened here? It's a fan recorded, so I guess I can bring it up. So what happened? I don't do Damn, you know what? I wish he banged him. I wish he smacked him. He might have taken a four-month ban or something, but you know what? It would have been worth it. It would have actually been worth it. Oh, fucking hell, man. Yeah, Mudrick said, I don't give a shit, man. Mudrick came on and did the square root of fuck all. The square root of fuck all. He can hold that. I don't care. Nah, he just looked lost. He looks so lost. That's just fucking ridiculous, bruv. Fucking ridiculous. But hey, Enzo weren't good either. Enzo weren't good either. So you know what? He can hold it too. He can hold that as well. Like, who played well? Who played well bar Petrovic? Just big up to Petrovic. Give you a little round of applause and all of that. And then we just get these copium merchants. And saying, oh, can you blame Poch for missing those chances? Man, just get off my fucking screen. Every single time it's like, oh, well, if you, if you didn't score this one or two clear cut chances you made in the space of 120 minutes, maybe you would have won the game. Fuck off. How about you make it consistently through the match? How about that? How about that? absolutely bottled the easiest final that we could have had hell in all the years of finals that we've played this was probably the easiest opportunity that we've had since i don't know when we played tottenham on the potch maybe that maybe that like it's it's fucking ridiculous and like, no, spare me this copium as well. I don't want either of them dickheads back either. We have a better squad than we have last season. Problem is, they are being managed. We, we, we just have this lemon merchant making barbecues instead of actual tactical analysis. Well, let's play to penalties, man. Let's play to penalties. Fucking prick. Fucking prick. Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe it. And I, I saw the Gary Neville quote, by the way, blue billion pound bottle jobs. Fine, fair enough, fair enough. People saying you can't blame Poch for this, you're absolutely tapped, by the way. You're absolutely tapped. We, we, we can acknowledge, 
We can acknowledge that the players weren't good enough. We can acknowledge that there were chances. But the problem is, you potch stands, use that as an opportunity to deflect from the manager. And I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We're not doing that shit. Players were not good enough. But, but the constant is always like, if nobody plays well, you, you do need to look at the manager. You do. And just as I say that, HR says it even better than I could have. The team reflects the manager. And, and if they're all playing like us and they all look clueless, especially when they go to the final third, maybe all eyes need to look at the coach. Maybe all eyes need to look at the coach. Also, I don't want to hear anything about how we're a great pressing side again, by the way. We sat in a low block while a bunch of academy t lads passed the ball around for fun. So spare me that. Our, our, our press is just let Conor Gallagher run around and hopefully he wins the ball. Hopefully. That's it. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm just done. Just done. Nobody come in here and tell me to just be happy. Oh, we had a good game and all of that. Fuck off. Fuck off. Players were ass. Manager was ass. We, we have bottled the easiest opportunity at a trophy. And. Uh, well, go take it to Leeds next game. This guy's even in charge. If he's even in charge. Yeah, Matisse, I hear you, man. You and me both. I, I am finished. I, I, I feel like I've exhausted my last bit of energy and hope. I feel like it's all just gone. Everything's gone. Just, just tired. They're just fucking tired. I'm sick and tired of feeling sick and tired all the fucking time. All the fucking time, man. Big up to Matisse, though. None of you lot are sub there, then I don't know what you're doing. You must be living under a rock or something. But everybody sub to Matisse. Big up, my guy. Big up to Tony saying Klopp galvanized his team. Poch is so uninspiring. We look clueless from the first minute. From the first 10 minutes, I was like, oh, we're, we're just giving away fouls so easily. Barely stringing two or three passes together. Kind of grew into it a little bit towards the end of the first half, but like... Never really looked in control. I mean, Sterling obviously got the offside goal and everything. Is what it is. Then Van Dijk got his offside goal in the second half. We had a lot of chances towards the end, which part of me puts down to just Liverpool being exhausted. Then they brought on their subs. Started slowing down the game a bit. Then we did as well. It's like we both were just like, oh, it's all right. We'd rather conserve energy. We both have to play on Wednesday. And then, then they got a corner. And they got a corner and they're like, psych! <laughs> you thought we were waiting till pens, dickhead! That's where we are. Big up Nelk saying Klopp galvanized his team. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Big up to Nelk saying get me a CEO, a director, and a manager. Amarim, cool. Uh, yeah, I just need a whole change. Wholesale change. Big up to Rigo Park saying we lost to Puberty FC. Missed chances on players. Mentality on Bottletino and he has none. Klopp rallied the teenagers. Poch couldn't rally our side. That's it. That's just it. We, we lost to a bunch of inexperience. But hey. uh, big up to MD. Big up to Vivek saying, have you seen the video on Twitter where a Liverpool fan was laughing at Enzo's face? I haven't felt so embarrassed. Laughed at by the whole world. I did see. I, I brought that up about five, ten minutes ago. But like, my, my sympathy is very thin. My sympathy is very thin because... I mean, it's not like he played well, was it? Now, if that was Petrovic I saw that they were giving that shit to, I might feel a little bit bad for him. I might. But Mudrik and Enzo, after that performance, I'd be real. Hold that. Hold that. I don't care. Like We had to deal with the exact same shit standing outside doing fan cams. So forgive me. Forgive me if I don't really have a lot of sympathy for them. At least they're getting paid for that performance. Majority of these fans travelled hours for an earlier kickoff than usual for that. Have to travel hours back to, And they wasted money. They wasted money and they wasted their time and they wasted their belief and they wasted their mental state. So I, I feel more sorry for them. 
I feel more sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for the players. I, I don't. Like, I know they were, I know the manager's my bigger problem, but still none of you really stood up. None of you really stood up. I mean, Palmer and Gusto might have woke up a bit towards the end. Cool. Cool. Bar that, I don't care. Uh, for a lot of fans, they were just waiting on this game. They were just waiting on this game. They wanted to Poch to get the opportunity to see what he could do in the final. Those are the guys I feel more sorry for. Well, well to a point. I mean, if you're still backing Poch in February, you kind of dug your own grave on that one. So for that part, I kind of don't really feel that way. But I just feel worse for the fans. One minute. One or two minutes of normal time. And that's when we fucking concede, man. That's when we fucking concede. Like, oh my gosh. Dick, and I'll say what I want on my channel. And you know what? Hold a time out for that. And you know what? Also, hold an ad, dickhead. Want to tell me how to talk on my channel? No chance. No chance. I'll say what I want, when I want, where I want. I, I did not travel to Wembley and back just to hear bullshit about, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that, you need to be a real fan. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm seeing my team fall apart in front of my eyes and you want to just tell me, oh, back the team. Fuck off. The only one that I'm giving any credit to is Petrovic. I feel for you, mate. I do feel for you. Hope you get home. I hope the missus gives you a nice little rub down. A little bit extra as well. We deserve it. The rest? Nah. Nah. Not hearing it. Not hearing it. I, I, I might do the fucking staffy route and just become a fucking proper Chels. Back the manager. Trust the processor. You're a fucking plastic. I might do that. I might just do that. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, big up to Kosovo Baller saying these players need to give their wages in, in my opinion. I mean, good luck. Good luck. Let, let Poch give his wages. Stand up for the team as your manager. Stand up for the rest of the fans too. But oh, no, no. Poch wrote a nice little letter for us before the game. He wrote a little letter for us. Told us we are Chelsea. I've listened to a few Mourinho press conferences. And now I understand finals are there to win. That's why I went to protect a draw until penalties. You prick. Fucking dickhead. Big up to Jonathan saying William, Pedro, Giroud, Alonso. Any of these old players would have come on and made a difference for us in the game in this game. Instead, we have unproven bottle jobs. Yeah, sure. Hear it. Hear it. I mean, imagine we get to a point where where William would be levels clear of what we have right now. That's how you know we're in the fucking pits. Marcus Alonso as well. <laughs> Everyone I hated back when we had standards and now they fucking moonwalk into my football team. Goodness me, man. Big up to Darren saying absolute disgrace losing to Liverpool's under 12s. Such a missed opportunity. No Salah, no Nunes, no Allison, etc. No Jota, no Shobazai. Oh my gosh. Blues enthusiast says and the 18 months of depression continues. Yay. Yay. <sighs> what else is that? Big up to Fuzzbrain saying clear lake out. Cool. Appreciate your donation, my friends. Big up to you. Big up to you. Crawley Eagle saying, how could Potch save his job now? It's not even how could Potch save his job now. It's just, how are you still here? That's the real question. Why are you here? How are you still here? That's the real question. It's not about how he can save his job. Like, it's finished. Go win the FA Cup for a little bit of damage control. That's it. Like, in terms of the Premier League, I've been saying anything he does now, no matter what he does, I'm going to think we could have done better in terms of the entire Premier League season. So, I don't think he's ever going to turn me around on that point. He has to literally survive to next season. And God forbid. God forbid. Big up to MD again. Appreciate your donation, my guy. Thank you very much. Big up to you, bro. Big up to Dawood saying, uh, just want to see old Chelsea back. We used to be a serious club. 
thought last season was just a one-off season. He'll probably take years to see that. I don't even think that. I, I just think give me a manager with just a consistent structure. Someone who could build a cohesive style of play. Someone with decent game management. Someone who isn't a fucking pussy who defends all the time. Never knows how to kill a game off. Or to even get us into that position. That's what we need as a base. Because a two to three year plan, I could hear it with a good coach. With a good coach, I could hear it. Good coaches will coach. Remember, Emery took a side that was in relegation conversations. And a year later, they're sitting in the top five. Ange, no Kane, no problem. I'm in the top five. Meanwhile, we, ha we have this fucking fraud. This absolute fraud in charge, making excuses left, right and centre to protect himself just because he knows his stock is dropping by the week. And if he gets sacked here, that's it for you in terms of big jobs. That's it for you. Unless you want to go Saudi and get a paycheck there, but I think they'll sack you in six months too. Whatever big players that they have at that club are going to look at your tactics and be like, nope, not working under him. Not doing it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Big up to Rigo Park saying Leeds will smash us on Wednesday. Big facts. Well, that game's just going to be tiring in general. Those players played 120 minutes. That was the last thing we needed, especially with a loss. If you're going to do 120 minutes, you had better win, at least. So you go into the game as like, oh, we want a trophy. Yeah, we're on a high. We're positive. We're motivated. Now, pressure is on these players. Pressure is on. Because that's our last opportunity at a trophy. That's probably our most realistic opportunity to get into the Europa League. <sighs> that we're even just thinking about that is just, oi. Big up to Dinishin saying we need to change from lion to chicken. We are Spurs now. That one hurt. That super chat actually really hurt. <sighs> and big up to Crawley Eagle saying, can I have a big up? Yes, big up, my guy. Big up to everybody in the chat as well, even the rival fans. If you lot are here to troll, can you at least just smash that like button? 580 likes. There is literally 2.5 of you in here. Literally 2.5. I ain't had numbers like this since Liverpool dropped the 100 million on Caicedo. I hit that like button. At the very least. But yeah, yeah, let, let me get this panel in. Let me get this panel in. Everyone's calling for it. I'm going to just go off on another tangent for 20 minutes if I don't send the link out. So give me a sec. Link is going now. Hit the like button, sub, all of that shit. Super chat if you want to guarantee your comment gets read out. Or if you want to shout out or whatever. Or if you just, just want to give me something that's a little bit of copium. Because I need that. I need that. <sighs> Also, again, if you're potching, go fuck yourself. Sorry. Not sorry. Hold that. Hold that. Greatest opportunity at a trophy, and we have thrown it in the bin. Thrown it in the fucking toilet. Let's get these guys in. Pause, by the way. That is, that is a brazy pause, but yeah. Let's get the panel in. Let's get the panel in. <sighs> Where's the Insta group? I will say the only positive for today is I got to meet a lot of my mates again. I'll say that. That was nice. But yeah, I'll be so real. I don't know when my next game's going to be. I ain't doing that to myself anymore. I am not doing that. We better beat Leeds, by the way. Otherwise, Arsenal is the biggest swerve in history. The biggest swerve in history. We will not be there. We will not be there. I will, be, I will say that right now. Right now. Uh, is that everybody? Basically, basically, right? Yes, my guys. Yes, people. Big up, my guys. Big, Big up, up bro. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I don't know where to start. You and me both, bro. I, I don't know where to start. 
Go on, Scott. I tell you what, I said it in the in the chat earlier, and for me, we can say what we want about <laughs> the manager, some of the players, whatever. But the the guy that won it for Liverpool was their captain, their leader, their most experienced player on the pitch. That's that's what wins you these wins you these games. That, those are the players that win you these games. I disagree with you. What won them? What won them the game is their manager. Won them the game. Not not. Not, not the players whatsoever. The manager, I don't hear any rival fan now talk about <coughs> young, young players don't help or work. He had five young players that came on that nobody knew were alive two hours before the game started. Okay? Mm-hmm. And I know now with his comments, I now know that these players never stood a chance as soon as Potts was hired after his extra time comments. As soon as extra time comments, they never stood a chance now. Even in his comments, he put the players felt. Who the fuck lets the co- let the players tell them how they feel? How the fuck? How this the hell? Dickhead. How dare? How dare you? You can't even take ownership. You can't even take of it. You can't even take ownership. You said the players felt. Who cares? Who cares how the players felt? How about this? No, we finished the second half strong and should have won the game in ninety minutes. Just continue what you're doing. Okay, just continue what you're doing. And no one, no wonder. Now I, now I know. Now I know. At the start of the first half, the start of the second half, it was all down to Poch because we started off slow in the first half and slow in the second, and complete the extra time. And I tell you right now, Petrovic is not even in the top ten of. Uh, he made that that great save, but he's not in the top ten of players in this game today. He, he was on oh, the of course. Today. He's just Petrovic. Chelsea top player by default. Well, I, whatever, but he, he's not. Kelleher's up there for man of the match. For, yeah. for Liverpool, not mm-hmm. Van Dyke or anything like that. I'm by the, way, suck, by the by way. way, stop this! Stop this fascination with putting Ben Chilwell on every, on every best club's best header Big of up. football for all Big set up, pieces. Please. For all set pieces, he was on Van Dyke again. For all the set pieces, why? Because you had a good game against Haaland, who I don't really rate as a good header. So do you know what I mean? It's like, how dare you, you come out with comments like that? You should have been sacked right there. That Ancelotti got sacked in the tunnel. You should have been thrown off the roof of Wembley for those comments today. Mm-hmm. That's what you should have been thrown off the roof. Only should have done him like Scar did Mufasa, bruv. And by the way, can I just say, Gallagher only came off because he was limping today or else he would have played the entire 120 minutes. That's the only yeah. way. And I, I will say this. I won't Gallagher was off. awful. Uh, but listen, I will say this. I won't mm. blame Potts for the, I won't blame Potts for, I won't blame Potts for the misses. I won't blame Potts for the misses because we should have scored more. But yep. now with those comments, pussy ass mentality and that breeze into the players. These players don't stand a chance of a manager like this. They do not stand a chance of a manager like this. They need a manager with balls. And Jurgen Klopp had balls. He had mm-hmm. balls to throw on the kids. And he, he got he got he got them confident. Those kids must have been shitting themselves when they named on the bench today. Must have been shitting themselves. Not excited. Shit. I don't themselves. think they would have. And he's because no, let, let me let me finish. Let me finish. But no, he's got he's got he's he's made them feel confident. Did you see him mm-hmm. that extra time? He was like all around each player. Well, our, our manager's sitting there and our players are getting like leg massages or something on the side of them and everyone else is in a huddle or something like that. This guy breeds pussy mentality. And our players, i tell you why he hasn't lost the players because the players are following his instructions. So he hasn't lost the players because they're following his instructions. That's the weird thing about this. He hasn't lost the dressing room because they're following all his instructions. And that's what a young squad will do because our leader for this squad is supposed to be our manager. And he's a pussy. He's a pussy ass mm-hmm. manager. And those comments, those comments are the worst comments I've seen from a top from a, 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 a from a manager at any top club I've seen in the past thirty years. It's the worst I've, I've seen, seen in about a month since Potter's quotes against Middlesbrough. Why, why? What makes you think you can come out and say that? What makes you think you can come out and say that and think it's okay? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, call on me, teacher. Ooh, ooh, go, ooh. go, tag. Go, go yeah, on, Jimmy. Jimmy. Hot go tag. On, Jimmy. Hot tag. <laughs> Can't trick me. I'm on to you, English fucks. Not talking about the guys on the panel, of course. Bro, I'm on to you. Now everybody wants to be upset with Pochettino. Why? <laughs> I can tell you why. They, want, they don't want to talk about the elephant in the room. Or should I say the dog in the room? Because... If Raheem Sterling missed one chance in the opening one second of the game and we lost, we will blame Sterling for the entire loss. Gallagher missed 
three, three. Conor Gallagher stopped play the attack all game. Let's talk about. At first, I was like, "What am I going to talk about today? Who am I going to?" I feel like doing what you cocksuckers do. Gallagher, this manager managed to what could win. Gallagher would not have been in all these positions to make passes and to score goals because he's a runaround merchant. But our fucking attack and everything on our team is based on Gallagher. So now we need Gallagher, who's not a passer, not a scorer, to score and to pass. And God damn it, who would have thought he couldn't do it? Not his fault, but that's what this shit is based on. Gallagher, mm -hmm. all those chances. Think about that. I want you dickheads to think about this. If Ukunku starts where Gallagher is, all of those chances, shooting, attacking, and playmaking goes to an actual number 10. And I told you guys after game one, what did I say? I he said, was a coward. Watch was a coward. And yep. look what it took for you guys to see it. He had to actually come out and say, I'm a coward. He said it today. Oh, yeah, we. I played for the penalties. I played for the penalties. I played for the penalties. For I played for the, he admitted that. He played for... The penalties. If you dudes going to sit here and nitpick players about mentality and all of that, players' mentality come from the top. Our manager completely exposed his mentality today. What I, I It took me a minute, but it really dawned on me how bad Gallagher was today. Not to try to beat him down. But just the amount of times he had to win the game. One person cannot get that many times to make up for his fuck up. And the fuck up again. I hate to do this. I really do. But like, oh, y'all going to sit and tell me, oh, Enzo was shit. Caicedo was shit. This one was shit. That one was shit. This one was shit. That one was shit. Sterling was shit. Blah, blah, blah. Well, this nigga had the chance to win the game three times. And all three times he failed. And you know what? It's not even his fault because he shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time when Gallagher playing at your number 10 is going to come back and hurt you. It's kind of well, – it, it took me a time to really sit down and meds it. Like, wait, I'm mad Conor Gallagher didn't win the game today. I'm mad Conor Gallagher didn't make this pass. I'm mad didn't make the pass. And then you got this Hollywood shit to play. You know what? I'm not even going to get on no Hollywood shit. Players fuck up. That happens. Players fuck up. But the mentality of this team is set by the manager, which I told you guys from the beginning. You can see the mentality of this manager. Everybody told me I was too early. I was too, I said, well, okay, maybe I am a little too early. A little bit more time passed. You saw the mentality more and more and more and more. Defensive, defensive, defensive. Bring off this guy, bring on the defender. Bring off this guy, bring on the defender. And yes, I'm going to say this last thing before I let somebody else talk. Nobody is saying that. The, all the game is to blame on Mudrick or Gallagher or whatever. But the mm. fucking Van Dyke goal, Mudrick stood there. He's mm -hmm. the free man. He has to attack the ball. I just watched that replay like five times. I'm like, yo, let me see if I can relieve Mudrick of a... No, I can't. Even if Mudrick was four foot four, what he did still is not enough of a... Like, he jumped too late. 
if you watch the replay from the far angle, literally after the goal went in, every player went at him. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Because if you watch it again, he did he did nothing. Like he it's like it's like he's he he tuned out. He tuned out. He just tuned the fuck out. Enzo, like, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He had a breakaway, could have passed the ball to Sterling. He tried that Hollywood shit to Jackson. He had the ball. He, he got beaten so much Roma. defensively, too. Put it in the back he the they, they, they walked play. through him at times. Jimmy, the back heel. He should have passed it to Palmer. He didn't back heel. That was a touch. If you notice, if you watch the read, there was a replay. Bro. Yeah. He didn't, he, he didn't try and back heel it. There's a, it's worse. There was a, if, there there was, was a replay that shows the other side where he, yeah. he touched it, was slightly it through behind his own legs. Scott. Yeah, he, he tried to through his own legs. legs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but he tried to roll it. It didn't work, so he tried to fix it. Yeah, it was slightly yeah, behind he tried him. To like, yeah, he, he didn't back yeah, it he on purpose. To he tried them. to collect yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he again. fucked up the first touch and then tried to get it with the second touch and back it by accident. Like He fucked it all up. Well, whatever yeah. it was, yeah. he should have yeah, been laying stopped. that ball off to Palmer. I, yeah. I, no, exactly. If I'm wrong, I thought he tried yeah. to back heel. I might be wrong. He should yeah. not even touch it. He should make it fake and step over it. That will make. No, he Palmer needed to touch it because of where it was going. But like, it should have been yeah, first time into Palmer. Yeah, first time. Yeah, first time. His yeah. touch should have been going to Palmer. Too, too many players it. kept doing that though. We saw um, Sterling in the first mm. half do the same with that Palmer chance. Yeah. Just hit it first time, and you try and take a touch, and it fucks up and somehow drops to Palmer. Look, too many times our players keep doing this. Too many times our players keep doing this. The manager ain't fixing anything. That... <laughs> I'm losing my voice. This is third stream. And uh, all I can say is, again, I'm going to repeat and repeat on myself uh, again. Carlito, you hear me? Don't brag about your 12 years of coaching. You never coached a freaking thing in your life. That's number Who, who one. That? Number two. You did. You did want Enzo. And uh, you did want the players. You bragging about Mudrik every freaking thing. So yeah, stop telling that you never wanted those players. That's when the part. For ninety freaking minutes, I have not a single comment about Pochettino. Not a single, because we did not play a Liverpool A team. We play Liverpool B team for well, ninety B -team. minutes. We didn't play B team. team by the end of the <laughs> No, oh, no, I, let me finish and you will understand. For 90 minutes, we had plenty of chances chances to win the game. We had plenty of chances. We created a lot of misery for us to lose the game also. So the game is kind of like chaotic, but we are still in the game. The biggest problem, and I told that to Jimmy, to you, I'm not going to say and think that Pochettino did it on purpose and set up on the defensive. Remember when I went to your stream and I said, I'm not going to say it because I'm not there. But then, when I was in the what? middle of a freaking stream, Andrew tells me, uh, uh, Alex, look at the fucking... Oh, my what? God, I lost yep. my shit. And I, remember, I, a... I, I said, I agree with you. Now I fault. understand. I understand. If you would have done it, like at the second 50, half, a second 50 minute at a time, when there's like five minutes left, and this is li literally the moment that you cannot fuck it up, Yes, that's when you go into the penalties. People say he, whatever he said, whatever he said in his defense, you don't do that in the first minute of edit time. You don't. That's number one. Number two, you do that if you have a freaking team of Salah, of team of Nunes, the full strength Liverpool. You don't do that against the kids, man. We had a week and a half. We had a week and a half off. Liverpool played midweek. That's number two. Then he decided to go back and defend when he actually, you know, he's like, you know what? Oh, wow. I think your 5K kids, by, by 5K kids need rest. I'll bring 4K. I'll bring the 4K kids. Let's see them uh, uh, battle you. And they did. They did. That's the sad part. And I hear people saying like, yeah, 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 Pochettino is not responsible. Yes, in the one-off game, yes, one-off game. I'm criticizing Pochettino for us being 11. I'm not criticizing Pochettino for the 90 minutes because that team should have won. Should have won. Mm -hmm. But then he made even that team how bad we played. By the way, we played bad. I don't think we played great. We had great moments. Yep. We had great moments. 
But then he decided to even how you say it, even that t that poor of the thing, he decided, you know what? I'll invite more pressure to us. I'll make it Why? worse. Why? Why? There's a kid that probably never saw like TV in his life. <laughs> but you're afraid of him, so you decide to bring Chalaba on the pitch? Chalaba. Okay. Chalaba. You, bring, you decided to bring that? Why? Chalaba. You, Chalaba. Okay, you, okay. You brought, you brought, you brought uh, uh, Ukraine Bolt. How many passes reached him? They brought on Jaden Dans. Mm -hmm. Who the who the fuck? Man looks like Hugh Wizard, you know? bruv. Who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously like, look, look, I don't even know who that kid is, and he actually has a couple fuck? of good moments. Yeah, he could have scored well. Mm. Anybody could have had a good moment because you, you went defensive. And, you go defensive. And another thing is, is, another thing is, you know what's embarrassing is, you think that you brought up to defend and not concede, but you even conceded against the kids. He didn't yeah. even get a strong team. That's the embarrassing part. You considered against the kids. And they That's the part. The with the kids too. And he Alex. had like he had preview. He had for 90 minutes, he had preview of which way we're going to score. And guess what the preview was? Set, Set piece. piece. Set piece. Mm -hmm. Been our Achilles heel the entire season, and it season. To... I'm literally I'm lost my voice. <coughs> also, Alex, everything and, you and said it there, was by blatantly the obvious going into the last game. They like Liverpool bagged their first two from corners against Luton and nearly bagged the third. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say yeah. that. Also, Alex, everything better. you said there, by the way. <laughs> everything you said there is damn near exactly the same as the City game in terms of it wasn't what you did necessarily. It's when you did it. If you just don't go defensive till like the hundred and fifteenth minute. Most of us probably have not that many issues, really. Yeah. Yeah. You went defensive the entire of extra time. Same with City. If you just don't go defensive till the 85th minute, I respect that. Fair enough. I understand because it's City. You did it 70th. That it, that's what cost us. And it's like, it's a similar thing. It's like, it's just... What the fuck you think you're, Mourinho? Game, game, games like these are fine margins. And it's, it's why I said about the Van Dyke thing at the start, because you need every fine margin you can get as a team. Whether it's players, manager, whatever, and that's a that sort of thing is a fine margin. Doing that type of stuff is fine margins. Because we defend zonally, we don't sorry, we, guys. Just, we defend zonally. We don't defend a uh, person by person. It's it seems like it's a mix because it seems like Desassi. Some players mark certain it's players. More and then we have a, we def, it's more it, it, it looks like a mix. Anyway, that last that um, last header, the, the the setup was perfect. Mudrik was the free guy. All he had to do was attack. Yeah, but you put the yeah, was, you usually put the here. you usually put the top tallest people in the front yeah. in the front post. You well, usually put the tallest people, the best headers you have in the front post. Jimmy, well, I'm just telling you how usually how it is. None of that is relevant. I was gonna say, Alex, but that's if you're playing full zone, and that's why I, I think it. We play a like yeah, a hybrid relevant. where we get we get the tallest guys. So if you notice this, Desassi, Cole, and who else? They man mark. Because the Sassy was man marking Van Dyke. Yeah. And then that you get the rest of them, so like Nkunku, Mudrik, I saw in there, and a couple of others. They're zonal. So it's a mix. So, like, it was Nkunku and mainly Mudrik in that area where Van Dyke scores. And yeah, Mudrik just loses it. But, but what was I saying? There was something about the well. one, one thing I don't understand as well about that challenge. Because I didn't really have an issue with it when it happened. But looking back on it, what doesn't make sense and i don't understand why he's done this this is a guy who's just come back from injury and you decided to play him against arguably the two best teams in the in the league i'd actually i it would understand i would understand more if he brought gilchrist on in that uh, position than chalaba mm -hmm. because he's played more in that position and he understands more and you've seen more of him this season you haven't seen chalaba this season in your system at all you haven't seen him play at right back especially you've never seen it like he did okay i don't even think he did that bad but it's just like what I was, what? This I, was surprised. I was surprised I was surprised Casado and Enzo end up at the, uh, all the way for the extra time. I see it's I think it was because of penalties. I, I think the only reason mm -hmm. Enzo stayed on the pitch is because of penalties because because the, like I right. saw my was god, god awful. Wow. He the and only reason he stayed on the pitch has to be penalties. There's no other reason why he stayed on that pitch. I feel like Jackson should have stayed on. His pressing was amazing. He was doing great hold up. Shouldn't have come off. I think you know, and Kuku should have came in for Gallagher in the ten position, and then put Jack and kept Jackson. He's no, not going to take Gallagher off, and that's what I'm telling y'all. That's the problem. It's, it's annoying. Yeah, especially it's fucking annoying. But yeah. that, Gallagher plays that, weak. That's what, 
That's the fucking problem. Yeah. That's the exactly. fucking problem. That's his guy. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I was giving him benefit of the doubt. Even you know that you did it for that reason. Why you say it? That's Alex. That's the thing. I I was the same. Like I was going to come into this why? stream, and it, I I even kind of did at the start, like not really going to blame Poch. I didn't really have anything to say about Poch until I saw the comments, and now Jimmy, it's like if he wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say nothing. To yeah. Now you're just a pussy. Him like, coming now and saying that he was going like, for the pens was yeah. That's the thing. I wouldn't have said anything about him. But now it's like, cool. Now, now you you just put spotlight. It's like you put spotlights on you when there was no need to. And it's like we talk about mentality. And I think there's a bigger problem just him when it comes to mentality as we might end up getting onto. But he is a massive proponent of that. But do you see the way he, he phrased a big it? Reason why the 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 squad He's decide. not the only reason, decide. but he no. is a big reason. And it's just... Who well, I just yeah, where's I those you. where's those where's those people over there saying you the one that had a week and a half off? Yeah, a week and a day, a, a week and a day, okay. and, yeah. and uh, shit. yeah. So that's your excuse, oh, man. Listen, I I, I I I I can point out individual mistakes, but overall, this shit is on the manager. Like, I don't know, the mentality of this team is on the manager, bro. The sub, mm -hmm. yeah. mentality of the team, yes, but mentality okay, also comes in at the cup final. I don't I care you don't say... like Pochettino, I don't care you don't like Pochettino's cousins, I don't care if you don't like barbecue, you vegan. It's the fucking one game for the one trophy. I don't care. You need to play for you if you have any <laughs> desire to be a professional. Everything is worth when you fight in for the one title. For yeah. one trophy, otherwise yeah. you're fucking pussy, just like Pochettino. But imagine, but yeah. But imagine, yeah, the, the thing is, though, the thing I keep saying it, I keep saying it. These players are playing for him because they're following his instructions to a T. They're playing for yeah. him. So, 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 imagine. I, I've got to think though, my own mindset. Imagine I've come off the second half. We should have beaten Liverpool in that second half, right? And then I get to the man. I get a manager extra time. Okay, what we're going to get? I'm thinking. My own mentality. We're going to continue, right? We're going to press them. They're tired. Even if, bring the, even if they bring the answer. No, no, no. I think we're good, we're good enough to get it to penalties. What? What? No, no, bro. No, no. They're having to bring their... I don't know, even know who these players are. They're not even on... They're, they're so they're so new. They're not even on updated FIFA squads. Yeah, they don't have a FIFA. <laughs> yeah, they're not even on it. Yeah? We've just battered them for the last 15 minutes at the half. We should have won. You want us to sit back? Okay. It's, it's I don't the think... opposite of striking while the iron's yeah. hot. Uh, it's like, okay. I don't it's turning the oven off. Yeah. I don't no. know. This is literally remind me of when you let the opponent get back to conscious. When you feel like you will not, you think you dazed the opponent and you, you, you punch them and you see he's kind of wobbling. You mm -hmm. don't go in the defend because you think the defensive structure is right now is the more, is the, the thing. You're yeah. going for the freaking kill, especially when he brings up even worse. He like he he kicks the manager, and brings up the guy from the street to advise him at the fight. That how will look like. Mm -hmm. By the way, Klopp brought kids that I've ne Liverpool fan never heard of them. Mm. Yeah. You defended you you decided to save Enzo and Casado's legs. Or Mudrich legs, or whatever. Whoever's, whoever's legs you try to save, Pochettino. Whoever's legs you try to uh, save. Yeah, you try to save them from the 17 years old kid. That's from who you try to save his legs from. Mm -hmm. um, You're freaking that, fraud. From by that, anyone that stole, like, any Chelsea fan that still wants to defend Pochettino. I don't really? even want to defend only Pochettino. Yeah. I wanted. I, I don't want a prime. Sorry, 
interrupt. I don't yeah. want to defend them. I don't, I want the credibility even to the Chelsea players. They have to oh, answer Alex, you. Trust me, after after yeah. this no, game, there needs I... to be eyes on a lot of people, not just the manager. Yeah. As much as no, I agree no, with everything I, I... needs to be done, there needs to be eyes to a lot of people. No, I know. Nah, there's than... You see, that's where I differ yeah. because we've seen games like this all season with we've missed chances. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, what, I don't know what y'all talking about with the players. I don't now? get it. Like, why is it now? Yeah. We've seen yeah, like, what is that? Why isn't this focused I'll, I'll on the Man City game last week more on the players that we missed chances then? We missed the same amount of chances. That's, that's, City. Not, that's yeah. not what I'm saying, Andrew. Yeah, for me, for me, the reason why I pissed off about the players is because players' mentality the went to like this is the final. But this the mentality comes the from the coach, Alex. That's, the coach. That's, that's not all. No, no, no. But when no, Alex, you can't wait. There's the reason. <laughs> Coaches <clears> get <throat> 20, 30, 10, 15 million dollars to coach. I know that. I know that. What I'm saying they are following is, Alex, they're following his I know, instructions. I know. They're following I know. his instructions. I, know. I understand that when you do, like, if I'm was a player and this is my final, I understand that. But at the end of the day, I will bring some uh, some uh, some uh, some, uh, some questionable things about uh, uh, players because at the end of the day, they're the one that actually has to execute it. Yeah, but the players mm -hmm. wasn't uh, out uh, there looking like they wasn't uh, trying. Uh, That's uh, a uh, Alex, Alex, when Alex. the players are not trying, then I'll question the players' mentality. Uh, they were he, trying. They were fighting for the win. What they were doing. I guess is no, no, no. Then, 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 then uh, uh, maybe they not they not that good. If they're trying and not I, working, maybe they I, fraud. There's no way they that as bad as you saying when we when okay, who's the best in teams in this league this year? We've drawn them. All of them. No. So they're good enough to do that. Yeah, they're but the league, but the, 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 here's the thing the league is not a one game. League is yeah, not one a game off. Final. And also you've that's, lost that's what I'm saying. Fraud. But you I'm yeah, saying so, that the final that's, that's, versus league. I was gonna say I agree with Alex in this sense of like I agree with you guys in terms of during the league. What we've had moments like this, but they're how playing a final, a one-off game and a final, issue. and playing a league game is not the same. The mentality is completely different. That's what it comes in more different. No, but Alex right. is right, and to a certain they extent, the coach does, and this is what saying, you're saying coach... you're bugging. A, a, a one-off final saying, is more on a coach than a player. Yeah, yeah, I'm not worthy. <clears throat> uh, no, yeah, you just, no, just, no, just, just literally literally out. Out. We, we rank managers by winning cups. What they do in finals. We rank Mourinho because what he can pull out in finals. How the fuck we get to a final and then we go, oh, it's more on the players. A final is on a fucking manager. We're just That's why we league break league. the managers who win them. We don't league. look at finals and go, oh, Marino won all these finals because he had good players. No. Fuck Jimmy, what about, here's this, Jimmy, what about, what about 2012? Uh, what about Di Matteo? Are we giving Di Matteo more credit than the players? Doing that? Yeah, he get fucking credit. Why don't he? More credit than the players? I mean, he should. It ain't about no more, but he gets credit. He got them up for a fucking final. Yeah, I think it's a two-way case. Why do we give Tuchel any credit? For what? No, I do. I, it's I do also do. about the players. The, the players the, 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 the final as well. Yeah, yeah, but, but we Scott, do. Scott, Scott, yeah, but Scott, but that's the thing. It is a balance. I think I what think Jimmy's it, saying I is structure. Is what I tried comes to make first. that point before guys, I got the way the manager guys, sets guys, you up is first and foremost. I think that's what he's trying to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of some players had like poor games today. There are some other players that actually stepped up. But at the end of it, if the manager doesn't set you out correctly or he uh, bottles it near the end, what can you do? You can only do so much. We came up today against – people can talk about – like going into this game, people were talking about the injuries and trying to make us favourites. The reason why I wasn't having any of that is because at the end of the day, Liverpool have a system. We've got a world-class manager. All these young players that came off the bench for Liverpool, they were coming into – a system surrounded by experience. Van Dijk, their captain, world class Van Dijk scored the goal. Like we don't have any of that. So as much as we can criticize some of these um, these players, and that's fair play, they, they deserve that. The mentality is set from the top. We talk about our best 
our experienced players, Sterling, Thiago Silva, Chilwell, Gallagher, not being good enough. So if we don't have experience on the pitch and our youngsters aren't um, mature enough, then it goes down to our leader. Our leader is our manager. He's awful. So what more can these guys do, especially in a final, in a big game, when as much as we're trying to win the game... I'll ask you a simple question. I'll ask you a simple question. Hold on. I'll ask Prime a simple question. Who do you think... Who do you think... Ask one qu one question, uh, Prime. One question. Uh, who do you think... Who, uh, hold on. Oh, you're not finished? Sorry, Prime. Sorry, I didn't That's what I'm saying. Let me finish. As much as I'm we're sorry, trying to win the I'm game, tired. it's about us performing. The other players are trying to win too. They're also trying to perform. They've got a manager that's setting them out to win. We didn't today. So, I'm so exhausted. But wait, what, 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 can what, I ask what, you a question? Jimmy and Brian, no, what was, about the silly mistake? What about the well, 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 uh, Alex wanted to awesome. talk some. Brian, let today. me ask you a question. Uh, who do you think, by looking at the play, and the, uh, the, uh, which kids do you think look more hungry, more showing? The uh, the kindergarten FC from Liverpool or kindergarten Chelsea? Watch t what I kids the, want it, want it more? Let me, I, I, I ask the, Prime. I, I ask Prime. I which kids to, look I like think, they wanted the, more? The, I think the young players from Liverpool were given oh, uh, tactical were given tactical instructions and they were set up in a system. Okay. They were also guided no, by the experience. No, it's not no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm answering your question. That's a good. No, no. I'm no. I'm, I'm saying I'm it's a good answer. answer. I, I answer. understand your answer. I'm answering. Let me finish. I'm answering. Let me finish. It's not as if um Dan or uh Connor Bradley or any of the kids they didn't score the winner today. They didn't assist the winner. Thank today. you. I was about Van to Dyke, say that. Hold on. Kids then, come on and cook. Stop, 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 stop. Van Dyke got the winner. The young kids came on. They had a good game. Yeah, Great. they're the ones oh, that got they, him a step. Oh, my God. All you do is talk. Please let me finish. The young kids had a great game for Liverpool. But you know what they came into? They weren't just thrown on the pitch. They came in with a plan of instruction by, by, um, by their coach. They were surrounded by experience. We don't have that. You guys all complain. Sterling's not good enough. He's our experience. Thiago Silva shouldn't be playing. Daly's on the ball. He's our experience. Chilwell's awful. He's our experience. Conor Gallagher shouldn't be on the pitch. He's our experience. He's our um, third choice captain. So what else do you want? If our experienced players are not good enough and our young players, um, they're not set up properly. You talk about Caicedo always left alone on the island by himself. Cole's playing left back, this and that. What more do you want? It has to go from manager then. And I'll answer it's, what it's I want. That I want. I'll it's answer you me. one more that I want. I, answer, I will answer you one more than I want and I'll go because I... I'm down. I'm down for today. Um, okay. One more idea That's I want. Gross. I think that team is strong enough to win the first ninety minutes, and the fact that is, if that ninety minutes and they did not the way they prefer, as much as you want to say it wasn't a strong Liverpool team in the first ninety minutes, they had the I bench that you can set up this uh, first eleven for Liverpool. But that's my point again and again. For some reason, either so it could be only two troops. You're right. They could not be the thing, but the, then Chelsea whole team is over fucking rated. Okay, it's not overrated. That's if you don't, okay, let, stop let, doing let's, this let's talk now. Okay, talk now. okay. Um, wait, hold on, here. Jimmy. Jimmy, no, let no, me wait. Oh, no, Jimmy, I, I, Jimmy wanted to say something too, so it's not like me and you, Prime. Just yeah, okay, all year, that. all year, I've been hearing from this team we don't have experience, we don't have experience. We're young, we got kids, we got kids, we got kids, we got kids. What the fuck today? Awesome. They're vets, mm. they're not kids today. Mm. Today, they're not kids. Yeah. No, they're not. Today, they're not, today oh, they're not kids. Yeah. You see how the narrative changed. Yeah, it's the same yeah. fucking team. Mm. It's the same fucking kids. Cut under 21 team. They came on after our team had just played a whole 90. They're supposed to look better, fresher, and more <laughs> up to it. If they kids Cole younger Hunch than our kids. Wasn't such a bitch. Maybe he would have put on a couple of our under 18s and let them run out. But he didn't. Yeah, where's this project Gilchrist that he keeps putting on? Gilchrist, <laughs> Gilchrist, 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 Gilch
What happens? Big game today. Who we bring on? He's a midfielder. We could have brought Jimmy Terrell. Who ain't played all fucking year? Jimmy, all I said, their kids are younger than our kids. Oh, we only could have brought on Billy G. Oh, he's younger than him by six days than six months. On Billy G, Get mate. the fuck out of here, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, y'all been saying we got kids. All we do is got kids. All we have is kids. And now today, all of a sudden, we got 2012 Chelsea and still fucking kids. Newsflash. Average, average age for the teams today, we were older than Liverpool. I'm saying Liverpool's older than us. Yeah. Thank average you. age. So miss me with that bullshit. And we didn't have Tiago Silva on. And they had on fucking Van Dyke. Fuck are we talking about? Thank you. If we had Tiago Silva, we can sit in three. Yeah. Okay. That proves our point, though. I didn't say you're wrong. I just tried no, to tell not, you yeah, my I point. I meant it like that. He meant it like oh, my bad. Exactly. Sorry. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Wow, no, right. every, every, everyone's I'm nerves fine. are going today. I'm, I'm not about here. to sit here. Man. Yo, when you really sit, if, 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 <laughs> just, just magic. Y'all got to really understand something. The, the mentality. Yo, remember, Lewis, you would know. What game did we protect the point? Do you remember that? Um, yes. So now, now so don't think, four, by the way. when you're talking about the player's mentality, if we did that. How many months ago was that game, Lewis? Match day four. Match day four. Match oh day four. We was protecting the point. And then y'all wonder why the players play like they play. It's the mentality. It's the mentality. It was set from game four. When I was saying punch out and y'all were saying I was crazy. Game four, he was incorporating this mentality from then. You protect the point against fucking Bournemouth. And that's how we play. And I've been saying it. Get rid of this fucking dude because he's a coward. And now when he turned out to be a coward, everybody like, oh my gosh, Patch is a coward. Rewind, I've been said that. No, you did. He's been a coward. Yeah, but Jimmy, you can't blame him for the missed chances, though. Like, we created a good amount of chances that we should have put it Bro, away. bro. Uh, the but, missed but, but this chances is the thing. We always feel nil. like we have to score every single one or two, three, um, four chances that we make because we never uh, formulated uh, uh, throughout our game. Guy, the guy on yeah. the right. Sorry, what's your name, bro? It's you on Jay. The, beside Andrew. Jay. That's Jay. That's Jay. 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 Yeah. You're right. I missed. You're right. We did have missed chances. Liverpool also had missed chances. But you know what also helps later on in the game? Your yeah. manager coaching. That's true. Yeah, I know. But so I don't know. Like, every, everyone's players players missed about. chances against us last week, weekend. I'm, yeah, I guess I'm will happen in the game. Look, I'm potch out. He's been asked this yeah. season, but today I feel like it's on the players. I just feel like the players Bro, in 90 out. minutes, in Yo, 90 we minutes, I no, I agree. Hold on, Jimmy. In the 90 minutes, I agree. The chances uh we had Palmer uh, the one in the 20th minute. Yeah, um, but even yeah, in saying that Gallagher. Palmer should still have yeah. had Palmer had like three hat tricks of assists. Messed up by Gallagher. Uh, the the yeah. the Sterling goal he scored. I personally don't think that was offside. We had chances yeah, yeah, in ninety yeah, minutes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. in extra time, is your manager's meant to make your money then? Because uh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, Klopp cool. did. Thank you, thank you, Prime. Thank you. No, I agree. Not, so not, I don't know how much money managers make. I don't. I don't want. When they earn their money, Jimmy, Jimmy, Diego Simeone makes forty million. Chelsea fans behave as if. We yeah, but he's the richest, uh, uh, highest pay manager in the world. world. Uh, Chelsea fans behave as if we're yeah. the only team wow. that misses chances. Every exactly. Other team misses chances. But you know what's going to happen? The and so do rivals as well. Or they'll defend well, or the manager will do something to help them or bail them out. Our manager doesn't do that on a consistent basis for us. That's true. That That is true, but I just feel like in a final, you should be... I'm screaming out. because your mother's yeah. under the table. Every time I move her teeth, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> no, I, no, I, 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 again, uh, Jay, I agree. Players yeah. should be taking their chances in the 90 minutes. I, like, I'm not disagreeing yeah, with I know. you, but yeah. when they don't take their chances, and Liverpool players don't take their chances, and we're now in extra time, and we're seeing changes being made, people can say Klopp brought on young players. Fine, they brought on kids. But why he's brought on, he brought on kids with, with a plan in place, and the difference was made, yeah. and they won the game. Yeah, their experienced, experienced, experienced players won the game. Let me add, 
It was Simicast with the corner. And Van Dyke scored Van Dyke their experience. Scored, yeah. We complain about the corner about wasn't even good. Not good enough. The corner wasn't even we good. Got, all Chelsea fans do is complain. Sterling's ass. Silva should be sold. Gallagher this. Chilwell well, that. So our experience is not good enough. Liverpool's experience is good enough. Well, and they've got other yeah. yeah, and the then I guess that's true because mm -hmm. that that that's on the manager again. Yeah. Uh, Yo, the, the corner wasn't even good. The corner yeah. went. Right to a space where a Chelsea player could have just got it right the fuck out. First man. Yeah. That ball would have actually yeah. been with that would have been the corner that would have been to the quote unquote first man. If Mujic yeah. actually I, just goes I, I get and Jay, I get what ball. you're saying. The, the chances annoying me that we missed. I was pissed by them too. Yeah, right. But at the end of the day, like when when and that's why I like I knew we'd lose when we were facing an elite manager and we don't have one. We can, we've exactly. been talking yeah. about this all season. What did we yeah. expect to do? The players yeah. did their best. Yeah. Enzo That's Caicedo, right. I thought they were four for like most of the game, but like yeah. the rest of the players, they did what they could, but they're not yeah. set up in situations to win. We can't expect to individual brilliance FC our way through every game. You can it. It's yeah. not. It's not realistic. No, that's why I probably agree with you guys for the for the extra time, honestly, because the extra time that subs were atrocious. The game plan was atrocious. Like, what the fuck? Why did he bring on Chavez? No, he already admitted he what he's doing. He, he admitted. Man he City. Why did he bring on those for the fucking tie. He like, talks so, stuff in the Did show. anybody Someone... see him snubbing that ball as handshake? Yeah. 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 Tommy was just top only grabbed him and threw Someone him off the fucking tier. Someone's created an account. I would have elbowed him. I, I would have Prime elbowed him right there. there. But they're clean with yep. I'll bring it up. By the way, I keep forgetting. No, I hate I Prime forgetting. account. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I, mean, I keep forgetting. Saying, I, I agree with Prime though. Whatever, man. I Thank keep forgetting. Show. I keep forgetting the uh, the props I want to say. First of all, I went to Terrace early, and the, the goal was there, and the, he was like, oh, how oh, dare you talk about oh, it? Let's just my, also, I my goal is really cool. to end out, but uh, honestly, cool. he Yeah, I also feel like I want to finish my sentence even like a half of it, please. Oh, shit, my bad. Yeah, I know it's a troll in the <laughs> mouth. The irony. A, bad, <laughs> the irony. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> What's up with the iron? Anyway, so, um, you go. I was like, why are you here? Why when Arsenal losing, you all have all of a sudden, it's the kid's duty. You don't have a kid's duty? You know what that fucker uh, DM me? He's like, oh, fuck, look, look, all capitals. How tough you talking about my kids and stuff? Kids. Yo, no, you see, that's Alex. Oh, that's don't flexion. tell me you start Ain't doing no, that. It wasn't oh. about his kids. It's about you. We said Is that kids' got booty. Up? His yeah. Duty. Oh, I yeah, don't know. Something get clipped up? I don't know what. Yeah, because I saw Egal head. Yeah, it's already so clipped up. Because he, he play he it. Because I haven't watched. Nobody this. talk about your kid. So, so when baby, he come on today? and he say, you you forgot about your baby, man. Go watch the baby. Yeah, yeah. Alex, 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 don't make it personal. You're mad because your team lost, pussy. but you can cry me a goddamn river. I don't give a shit. Chelsea are bottle jobs, absolute bottle jobs. You guys are absolute I bottle jobs. I agree with him. We did bottle this. Every single cup final. We have the audacity to talk shit. Talk every single own. cup final. Talk we won the championship. Guys, Alex, let me, please let people finish what they're saying. Go, 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 go again. Go team's performance. And you know what? Gary Neville said it eloquently, guys. He called them. Why he always trying to use those count. hard words? Bottle eloquently. <laughs> eloquently. He's smarter than everyone else, Alex. You're going to come here with your UCL trophy pictures. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Every time you show up... Oh, you can stop it. When, yeah, when somebody say it, they yeah. don't care about this Champions game? League, I don't even... I'm, yeah. done. I'm trying to think, where's the head loss? Nobody's yeah, done. Because they say mad. But that's in the beginning. When, Why like, me a goddamn uh, effing river? Because I want you guys to trophy. You guys were lucky to even be in the fucking final. Yeah, this ain't no head loss. This ain't no head loss. That's weak. Yeah, he... And he basically he DMs me and uh, point like uh, all capitals. How fucking dare you talking about my kids? It's like your kids? I would have told that nigga pull up. Fuck wrong with y'all. Punch you uh, uh, fucking. Uh, Alex, Alex, ignore. Like, I don't know what you meant because you clearly. I, said I, that, I don't. Alex, even, I don't know, think you still didn't say anything I, derogatory about his kids. Kid. He no, didn't say nothing all derogatory. I said, all I said, all I said is, look, when Arsenal, why are you here? When Arsenal losing. You you're not showing up. You're saying you have and you kids. And you say duties. you have kid duties. Yes. Exactly. That's so why you yeah, here? That's, yeah. Yeah. that's so me. now you're here. Well, go watch your kids. Go watch the kid. That's all. Like you said, said this, you do. Yeah, just like if I said, just just like if I said, <laughs> hey guys, I don't show up when Newcastle lose because I'm probably at work. 
And then if Alex says, and then Alex would have been like, here? "Yo, why are you not here? Why the fuck are you, you not at work? Yeah. Go to work." Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Out of here. That ain't going at your yeah, kid. Shut that tape. Yes, it's not. He no. But also, he tried, that's deflection. That's deflection. Also, also, yeah. it, Alex has kids as well. So what sort of yeah, insult? Man, that? we already know, Alex. That was not a dig at his fucking kid. I'm just yeah. like, where he got that? Uh, where he got that? Uh, titties that he has on him that he's gonna come and dms me and all the yeah, capital yeah. letters are like what the fuck like fuck is you talking about Trying to you. Kid, no, no, one, no one no one cares no one cares about champions league well you don't yeah well you once somebody that. say that i'm oh. done with the conversation like what yeah nobody no nah, i saw that no, on my head. Man, this dude, it, I was stuff, waiting for you to find out. This dude can't even, like. his stuff don't even come down my timeline. Wait, hold He's on. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Was that, was that, <laughs> after, was, that after, <laughs> was that after, was that after 90 minutes? Was that during the game? No, that was after the game. Uh, after, after the game. game. No, 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 that no. wasn't, wait. Before that was at full time. That's at full time. That was near full time. Like, oh, 19 oh, minutes oh, full time. Oh. So before extra time. A few minutes yeah. before extra time started. Okay, so if that's after 19 minutes, then I guess fair enough. That's fair enough yeah. after 19 minutes. Fair Man, enough. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Fuck him. Bro, he did a no, good job. No, <laughs> fuck he did. No, continue, Jimmy. I'm about to say Waterloo Road school team, minutes. bro. Yeah, that is insane. It was. Oh, my God. Also, also, can I say this, Lewis? This narrative being spun about, like, Liverpool underdogs and all these kids and whatever, as if Kanate, Van Dijk, Joe Gomez. By the way, this Chilicast, is one of the best back partnership in the yeah. league. All, all oh, that, guys that have won Champions League. Champions League. That, might, that might be the best center back partnership. That's the best. Not about? only that, they have the best center back a center back line. Because if you're gonna famously tell me that Trent is missing, I'm gonna tell you and spit you in the face because that fucker is not good for defense. The oh, best yeah, defense. Bradley, Bradley is a way better. Yo, listen, right? Robinson. If you, if, Robinson, if guys, BDB, and that guy. Oh, right, we had one W today. One second, we had one W. I was about to say there is there is one positive I did find from yeah. the game. To be fair, I saw that. I saw that. That was funny. Oh, the one-legged guy. Under <laughs> <laughs> the Gerard. By the way, did you see Fatur dyed his hair again? One. Robert Charles. I blame I him. You, I blame him. I blame I him for him. a loss. He has one leg, and that one, I would have rushed him. Uh, I would have rushed Lewis, him. I thought Lewis, I would have rushed him. I would have fucked him up. I thought you were going to say. I was talking about. I was talking about Fatou. I was talking about Fatou. Do you see Fatou's haircut? 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 Do you see Fatou's new haircut? Do you see Fatou's new haircut? I hear it. Like I got one leg. You want to rush him? He's on one fucking leg. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm talking about Fatou. I'm talking about Fatur. I'm not even paying attention to the right man. Here. Let's head for two. Okay, fair enough. I'm talking I'm about Fatur. Have you seen Fatur? Have you no. seen Fatur? Um, yeah, uh, I, I saw him today. Yeah. Hair. He looks like Astrid Wet, Asian Astrid Wet. I he blame him for losing the game. <laughs> yes, Yeah, he got he dyed his hair blonde. I blame yeah, him for losing the game. Yeah, today. Fatur, you out here wilding? You trying to bring sexy back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, uh, uh, when you my guy Fatou, you tell him he's a Justin Timberlake wannabe. When you when you talk to Fatur again, probably on uh, what's his name, on Flawless. If you see him, tell him you want to. What do you want? You want to be a Nickelback or, or what's his name? That nineties band, <laughs> Bush or something. He wants to be in the boys band. He wants... Yeah. yeah. By the way, Matt, Matt, oh, Lewis, hold on, hold on, I forgot, there's a little bit of comedy, Lewis, go to your Twitter, and okay. bring the picture that before the game, when you and your boys taking the uh, pictures, before the game, there was Matt there, and somebody else, I won, I won the VAR on those frauds, man, who's the oh, fashion what? designer, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> By the way, Yo, wait, can you look? Can you look at oh, the mat? Why is he wearing cleats to the game? Cleats. Oh, Air Max. Those Air Max ninety-five. Air Max. Well, okay, for me, it looks like a cleats. Then does no, he know that no, 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 needs to be Alex, iron too? Alex, listen. The shoes you should have a problem with is right there, on, homie, with the black yeah, Air the Force side. ones. <laughs> they just look like they got ran over like six times. He chose violence. <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody got those sneakers Let, on. Let's just ignore my get out of their way, bro. Thank you. Dan, get what I'm saying, way. what I'm saying is like, look, can somebody tell Matt that pants needs to be ironed too sometimes? <laughs> nah, it's <laughs> crushed. You have an Illuminati Adidas jumper. It's crushed That's linen. It's crushed linen. It's crushed linen. It's yeah, crushed linen. Um, Big up Matt. Uh, yeah. Speak, speaking of, actually a good uh, band, like, of embarrassing stuff that's happened with Chelsea, did you see that Astrid couldn't get into the game and? Some old guy sold her his son's ticket or something. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> sold it. <laughs> By the way, there was not not a, there was a fake video. She was not trying to scan it. I what? I saw the video. She was scanning the ticket upside down. She had the real ticket. She was lying. All right, can we, you can, can see we, that she scans the wrong way. Listen. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, can we can we stop with the Gallagher thing now? Can we put Gal? Can we can we put Unkunku at the ten now and stop since the season? Yeah, can we stop now. Oh, oh, just, oh, just playing. Yeah. Can I just say I do oh. think there was one po- on a serious note. I think there was one positive out of the game today, and that's that for me that centre back partnership were actually good. I thought outside of a couple nervy moments from Cole at the start, this this Sassy especially I thought was a rock. Like I yeah. thought he was solid I'm today. I'm, like I'm, for I'm me, that right. centre back. Def- playing out the back, they were shaking. Defensively, yeah. they were okay. Yeah, defensively, they were they were they were, they were they were solid. Yeah. Like and yeah. Yeah. like for me, that's the centre until until Badi Shile's fit and then you reassess. Obviously, that that's the centre back partnership going forward. Fuck Thiago Silva, he can hold bench. And that's the sad, that's not freaking first. First. another sad thing that got overshadowed was, like, I mean, Diaz is so far in fucking Gusto's pocket. Like, oh, yeah. Wade, I was gonna say, yeah, Wade, as bad as again, you ever dig on in your the pocket ball, and find that piece of lint way down at the say, bottom, Jimmy, yeah, on, uh-huh. on the ball, shaky wasn't the best defensively. Gusto, but oh defensively, my that's god, what I was, that's what I was, that's oh what I was saying. That, that, that's what I was trying to tell people be, before. The thing is that the way we played five minutes, one person has a good game, and I'm talking about in off. possession. Mm-hmm. And that, for example, Enzo has a good five minute spell. Casado sh- uh, spoils it with some stupidity. But everything what we did, you can actually go on timeline and say everything we did is actually unforced errors from ourselves. Mm-hmm. They didn't do nothing. We the mm-hmm. ones that screw up passes. Th- by the way, I don't understand. All of our players couldn't stand on the feet. They fly. They mm-hmm. falling down. Everybody, they couldn't adjust. I, well, it was wet. It was wet. I, and I said it at yeah. halftime. I think I said. And people was in my. I said they need to go get the biggest studs because a lot of players would just. I'm fall here. One of these mistakes. Here, yes, the yes. These last years at the right back position and the shot and the shot he shot it right at Petrovic. No, I'm talking about these last when he went to go clear the ball one time. He just he fucking slipped. fell. He sli- yeah. he slipped and fell. It's like you could be yeah, mad gonna... at him, but it's like he fucking fell. He fucking fell. I'm punching. I'm punching Lewis biceps. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, oh, yeah. You got, yo, you guys think Cole Palmer should be doing better on the chance in the twentieth minute? Yeah, I think no, so. I don't, I don't put that all on Palmer. I'll be real, I don't yeah. put all of that on Palmer. Bro. I'll be real, Palmer should never have got that chance. I don't know what the fuck Sterling's doing trying to take a touch. I don't know what the <laughs> right. fuck he's doing trying to take a touch, touch. with the outside right. of his foot, by the way. Not he's even in step. He takes it with the outside of his foot. What about what about if we go if we go and micromanage? Remember the yeah, moment when Enzo when Enzo tried to push pass it outside foot in instead to of Jackson, going instead of going to Sterling. Go to Sterling. Listen, the same goal Sterling scored against City last week. That was going to be the same goal. He was going to touch it, it one time, boom, right into the yeah. Court. Palmer's he lucky to get into that position. To be fair. Right yeah. Oh, you're talking oh, about the ri- oh, the, the, you're talking about the ricochet oh, ball. That's that's yeah, yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah, that's not. Yeah, the first, yeah, the first I'm talking, like, he yeah, needs to be that, very ball, but like, he should never be in that. He should never get the ball. Like, uh, by the way, I, was uh, uh, I thought it was a really, really good save. Oh. There was a couple. Oh, there was also, a couple also, of moments where Enzo chose the wrong pass. I don't know if Sterling deliberately tries to palm it. Push it to palm it. Also, Jimmy, when you were talking about. No, nah, no, nah, it bounces it off a defender into Palmer. Okay. Jimmy, yeah, it wasn't a pass. Gallagher and all those chances missed and everything. Guarantee if Sterling had all of those chances, he scores at least one. Oh, he if scores Nkuku at least one. Yeah, 10, Sterling, he, but if Gallagher, if Gallagher's in 10 in those positions, oh, he scored at least uh, one. Bro, it like, was a couple times where maybe, I don't know, if, if you if you wasn't looking advanced, 
up the pitch because of that, that shit angle that of the uh, that you get at Wembley. Every time I watch a game at Wembley, you get the worst angles on it's TV. Higher, higher. It's high up. But if you was looking advanced up, there was a couple times where Jackson and fucking Sterling took off. But Gallagher, he's uncertain, so he didn't make yep. the passes. Nope. Then it was a chill will. There's a chill will pass. Like, you gotta Excuse make the. Those are I the won't. passes. You have to make them. I think 17 minutes, 17 minutes, Chuwu had a, such a good open uh, to pass it to. Uh, oh, I want to say uh, somebody on the left. I'm going to say. Sterling, Sterling. I think it was Sterling coming up. I, on the yeah. Outside. Say, he, he, but he decided and he was like, ah. Oh, I'm not going to do it. it. Yes. Oh, yes. Me. Alex, I yeah. screamed out my that. fucking brain. It's yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. You go over the top. There's, you, there's one thing I want to say about Chuwu. I wasn't going to focused on players, but I have to with him. He, for me, after this game, has taken he taken Gallagher's crown as the yes. most brain-dead fucker in yes. this game. Well, yep. Can I say yeah. this? And I'm not even joking. Chill out IQ is worse than Mudrick. Yeah. Yep. Bro, he makes, bro, he makes, he makes has, Gallagher Mudrick and Mudrick look like an excuse. excuse. He does. Yes. His no, 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 no joke. Like, he, makes them, he makes them look like Xavi. He makes them look like yeah. Pirlo. That's how bad he is, to, like, like mentally. Like, mentally, in terms he's, of football, well, I, I don't know the what negatives. the fuck is wrong with Chilwell. And you know what else he does? And I realize it. And I, I'm kind of glad Potts realized it. They do not go up that left. They do not go down the left. Potts <laughs> do not go down Chilwell's side. We do not go. And, I, and the, how bad Chilwell has been, I can't say I fucking blame him. He's just. Terrible. See Connor Bradley and directed him after the game. Oh, yeah, yeah but anyway, I don't even know why the kid, the Liverpool kid, got booked. There's nothing it's, it's, he's done. No, no, neither one of them should have got booked. Gakpo yeah. should have got booked because he Ad, came in uh, and pushed. Yeah, why Jackson was. <laughs> Jackson just comes out of nowhere. No, Jackson, yeah. Jackson did the right thing for once. No, if Jackson, you go Jackson, back, Jackson, Jackson, said, yeah. Jackson said, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson, no, why no, 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 no. So Gakpo goes in and shoves Chilwell. Jackson, Jackson comes and in Jackson and puts his arms around Gakpo to, like, calm him down. Yeah. And then Gakpo takes a second uh, and then just, just flips, like, turns around and shoves him. I just don't believe, I just don't believe Jackson that he comes with the good intention. No, he did the right thing in that situation. <laughs> like that, that's the, he did the right thing. Like he came there to calm it down. Like he came in that Cole situation. Colwell was the one that one. made that that made the situation worse. I think Cole was. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. no, Gak. Oh, no, man, watch it again. Cody Gak. They grabbed each other. They pushed, and it was separated. And then Gak came yeah. and pushed Cole Chilwell. Push Gak, oh, that's yeah, the yellow should have yeah. came out. Yeah, Cole I think it was after it's Gak the wrong Chilwell. white guy, Jimmy. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was Cole will push Gakpo. <laughs> then Gomez came out. No, 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 Alex, you're right. Gak Cole will push Gakpo after Gakpo pushed Chilwell. Yes. After, so, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Gakpo yeah. pushed Chilly. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's too many whites I mean, over there. Too many whites. I couldn't tell yeah, who's I mean, really that's too white. Too many uh, half breed black guys. Gakpo is fucking in <laughs> Colwell. Too many light skins. Too light skins. <laughs> Mm -hmm. By the way, I, I, so I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching a replay of the game. Gakpo so unlucky not to score in the 40th minute. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, they had him. Yeah, the yeah. one that oh, hit the post. Had Enzo was yeah. marking him. Yeah. The oh, you say that? Oh, the Gallagher just saved way. my mate was trying to settle down. By the way, by the way, Gallagher, Gallagher, the that Gallagher thing, one, Gallagher. The oh my god, that was oh. the slick by Gallagher. That was oh, that the slick. But that that's why sweet. I said he should have had one goal. And that, that's why I don't say he should have scored three. All he did, he did brilliantly. It was just unlucky. Opened up the he leg did a brilliantly. Bit. And whoop, whoop. That was sweet. That, that, by the way, big up to the Liverpool goalkeeper. Oh, yeah. He, he, played, he played a good game. He played a good game. Wow. Hey, Prime, he really he sucks. He's really sucks. Really sucks. Bro, listen. Yeah, yeah. he really I sucks. Oh, nice. I, saw, I don't rate him. Yeah, because Jordan's doing a celebration, isn't it? Cold Palmer. So who's that Boy. supposed to be? To Palmer. That's Foden. That's Foden doing the Palmer celebration. Apparently the same Man City did an indirect, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what was. But now that uh you know uh good time that's okay. So Those are kids. Those are guys. Guys. Those Dude, you guys think he'll be starting do you guys think that he'll bench actually Sterling for Nkuku instead of Gallagher, even though he should be benching Probably. Gallagher for Yo, I said it when it happened that 
Gallagher should have look at look at this face. Look at this face. I don't give a fuck. I said it. Gallagher should have been coming off. This face doesn't give a fuck. A season is done. Oh, I know. Really? You know, if he leads, I'm, I'm you know, he's gonna yeah. maybe get top seven. Even no, if we beat Leeds and get that Arsenal the game, the next moves, one is done. Really more humiliating than that yeah. Arsenal All game. Honest, even if we get there's, there's a lot there to get like happy about. Yeah, uh, it's seven. Right. We can get some Europe. We can get some Conference League. Maybe we couldn't beat the UK. We couldn't beat the K four kids from the middle middle school. I was gonna say for, for us to get <laughs> <laughs> for us to, be Europa League, for us to finish I'm seventh left. and to get Europa League, there are about a million different like holes have to go, like or hoops that teams have to through for that to happen, which I don't yeah. see all of them happening. So our best we, get way, we seven, went which eleven today. Be hard, but. We eleventh. Yeah, we we're not tenth. Something. Maybe. Oh yeah. wow! No, so it weren't even just after the gate. No, that's not it. But like, that guy literally dropped this at full time again next season. Like even for the experience. What Jeez. the fuck, boy? The fuck. Oh the first Mold? one you could say. Oh, at least you're just talking about the first ninety. But like, no, you said this at full time. You're and uh, mod and the another one is the uh, the idiot. We're like twin peaks of each other. Carlito. Last no, Dude, not everything's wrong with this fan base, is Carlito. By the way, he actually said the maddest thing. I speak for all the Chelsea fans. He told them tears. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, well, he said that. Yo, that I, somebody, the dudes on my screen was talking about that, but I had no idea what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah. He was saying somebody like somebody asking like uh, about something fan base, and he's like, Chelsea fans don't speak for me. I speak for all the Chelsea fans. Oh my I'm god, a boy. <laughs> oh brother. You That's should see you Andrew's face. Me when you Habits should is see. Oh, it's on the terrace, Alex. Yeah, you should wow, see Andrew. what Andrew's in my face immediately right after. Yeah. Okay. No, I said he speaks for the fan base, bro. By no, the way, I remember Andrew. No one person does that. <laughs> is that he speaks for the fan base? I say it first and foremost. I do not speak on behalf of this fan base. I, I despise half of this fan base personally. I don't speak I don't on behalf of it. On behalf of front. Front. You are right here on the space. I don't speak for you on the but space yo, front. Why, why, why Carly don't have this elitist mindset? I don't know, man, because he said he coached know. 12 years. Yeah, he, he By the way, which is a lie. He's some children, and so he thinks that, like, that means he told me personally, he coached you 12. Yeah, he told I'm at 12 years of coaching. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck how many years you coach. I know what I watch when I watch football. I don't give a fuck. I started watching it when I was 13. I'm 43. That's 30 years of me watching football. I think I know what the fuck I'm watching. Mm -hmm. I think I know. I don't have a so, like, regardless of, regardless of how many um degrees or whatever the fuck you have, if you simultaneously yeah. rate Potch and Havertz, like I'm not listening. I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you Potch Sorry. in and you a Havertz fan. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dennis Maldini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also said he used to be uh, uh on the work for ESPN too. I forgot. Yeah, he worked for ESPN. ESPN Deportes. Look at this fat bastard, Potch. <laughs> Uh, fuck him. Man, Poch, Poch your next Poch. Poch. Look at him with his fucking man tits. Listen, Poch, your next job is a strip club. Go to a strip club, Poch. That's your next job. No, he can take that thumb and stick it up his fucking ass. That's what he can do. I'm tired mm -hmm. of this dude, man. I've been it's told y'all to get out. I'll be, I'll be real, though. Like, even, even when he's gone, and God, I hope it's soon. Like the, the I remember when he, and uh, I remember when he said when he told Peter that he, yep. I'm and the only one that coached over here, more. and Peter sitting over there still. Yeah, I was like, I'm still coaching. <laughs> I remember I was here. Peter was like, <laughs> I'm okay. still coaching. By the way, if you coach and you have that kind of uh, mentality, you shouldn't be bragging about it. No, nope. it actually goes against you. Like if you have that. <laughs> By the way, he also, 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 he said the most important position on the field is number ten. Yeah, right. <laughs> the goalies don't exist. I mean, because like Zidane used to play. Zidane used to play, and who else? He said, and uh, Ronaldinho, because I those two played. That's the most important position on the field. Uh, that, Alex, you know what's so fucked up about those conversations? It depends on the team. So, yo, we know like, that if like you're if you're a team, like because there are teams where the number ten is the most important position in that team because they play through them.
But if you're a team that like defends deep, for example, then the most oh. important players in your team are your defense. <laughs> Like, yeah, so yes, Daniel Claudini. I remember why you bring all this shit. He also said that the goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You ever see him again? I you see him again actually, Andrew, though. you do it because you had that conversation. Bro, can, if you ever see him again, can you ask him how much the goalkeeper matters now after that cup final? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Keller has. I mean, Keller didn't really have an impact on the game. How about today, if Petrovic like, was. The, if, 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 how about if we had Kepa today? We, they scored three. Oh yeah. fuck no! I've been bad. What's wrong with people? Petrovic, yeah, Petrovic is that much good of a shot stopper that I don't Why care doing that he can't play out the back. Well, Petrovic, did do, Petrovic did one thing today, and that was a great yeah. save. But they didn't test him at all, and that's all he needed to do. He was there for that great save. That's how important goalkeepers are. You know. So. Oh, Enzo's I, lost his first final. I wonder what he must be thinking. I wonder what the fans are feeling. That's what really matters. Oh, he's probably pissed. That's what really fucking matters. He wasn't oh, even Shazza good. Guy. By the way, he actually, he actually stood up for he actually stood up for Mudrik on the, in our video. Somebody yeah, made yeah, fun of Mudrik that. and uh, said, like, when are you going to Arsenal? And Enzo was like, What did you want to fuck? You? What'd you just say? Man, these no, guys, they that's I don't right, the guy Enzo I actually right. low key, I don't care about uh, you Ukraine ball, but I kind of I kind of I'm kind of proud of Enzo for that's, sticking up for the, say, for the Alex, movie. that's the one thing I can say about this this team and this squad is it feels like they're united with each other in terms of the players. Yeah. This squad feels as, more united than it's felt, felt in a while. <laughs> and so it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said when I said that. Yo, did y'all see that... what Simulcast did the, that the Van Dyke when he was on the ground? On what? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was wild. Suspect I wasn't. I wasn't even properly focusing on it because I was pissed that we conceded. But yeah, that's pissed, wild. Too, now I'm, actually, I'm about to send it into the group. Look, at, it's in the group. Bro, chat. it's wild. Man's trying to, man's trying to be missionary on the pitch. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to freeze frame it, but once uh, that's what you meant, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. That saying like that um, uh, that way like, they follow on by like a fucking fuck. thing. Bro, I understand now. My wife like that two nights ago. Is he trying to fuck fucking life? shameless. Oh, Kadri. Who fucking cares about Carabao, bro? God save the king. Who the fuck cares about king? <laughs> we cares about only queen, bro. Like, no, this way, club is up. so shameless. It's fucking so shameless. shameless. He has only yeah, one Champions too. League and one yeah. league. In eight years, in eight years, you go, girl, shameless. you go, girl, class. And you go, you go, girl. you go, you're gonna lose to Porto and you're gonna lose the Premier League. Arsenal fans okay. and Liverpool fans are so shameless. City been winning Carabao Cup for four or five years and they say, oh, it's the Mickey Mouse Cup, but it doesn't matter. So how does it fucking matter to us? I'm actually glad that Pochettino doesn't have a trophy with us because he's fucking what? silly. He's <laughs> fucking silly. The guy lose us three points against City by making those bipolar defensive substitution where Chalaba is left on the right. Then he does the same today again, brings yeah, on Chalaba. Yeah, I like okay, Chalaba. Uh, put him uh, on the right. Hard. No, put, uh, playing Chalaba on the right, then changing Gusto, Gu Gusto on the left. The Gusto was, was having an amazing game against uh, Diaz. Listen, and then Pochettino goes and he doesn't shake Todd Bolly's hand. Bro, if I'm Todd Bolly, I've got Burj Khalifa in my pants. I'll put it on your sissy oh. mouth. <laughs> I'm putting on a sissy throat. Bro, I don't care about this Carabao Cup. I want this mo motherfucker out. Then why do you this motherfucker you... is silly, bro. He can't do nothing. He doesn't know, like, against City, right? We were, I mean, I mean, I'm, we were playing back three, back, back four, back three, right? Why did he invite more pressure? By taking the attacker out of the game. He, lo he cost us three points. Obviously, we got the one point, but he cost us a win. And now, in the end, he, he brings on, ooh, Chalaba, right? Bring on Chalaba. I like that guy. But why are you changing him with Gusto? 
And then I don't respect Liverpool because I don't watch Liverpool games because eight years I've been watching them. The VAR helps them. The referee helps them. Oh, yeah. The way the referee runs yeah. won this Liverpool. Listen, Klopp, listen, you're a fucking ugly German, bro. Like, why are you being so happy? Why so? Why so happy about Car- Carabao Cup? You have one Champions League and one fucking Premier League in eight years, and you wanna quit? You're silly. If Portuguese can do uh, this, no, no, even Grand Potter can do that. That is silly, bro. Grand Potter can do what Klopp did. Yeah, no, he can't. Can. No, he can't. Bro, no, listen, no, listen. Fuck shit, bro. If, if you a Liverpool fan, fan, if you a Liverpool fan, think that, you know, that Xabi Alonso is going to come to that ugly city, he's never what? coming there, bro. Wait, so you're too ugly for Xabi Alonso. Why did Klopp go to the ugly city? Why did Klopp go to the ugly city? Bro, you're, you're, listen, Liverpool fans are too ugly for Xabi uh, Alonso. Oh, okay. So why was it? That's just not lying. This is a real yeah. life Bro, listen, listen, this manager, Pochettino, uh, he, he has to be sad because he didn't like, he was behaving as if, oh, he did uh, his best. Why did he not shake a Todd Bolly's hand? That guy has been giving him millions, billions, 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 and he's not shaking the, his hand. Fuck you, bro. What are you? You're the one who's been who's not been playing Modric for whole season. We know Modric is shit, but then you're so dumb. You bring Modric in ninety uh, whatever minutes, right? And then you expect him to do what Casado does. I think Casado is uh, a fucking foolish guy. Why is he working so hard for this Pochettino guy? What has he done to Casado? He, he, he plays him in a fucking defense. Oh. He tells him to do so much stuff. Listen, uh, Casado is growing on me. Casado actually is growing on me because he does a lot of hard work. But why is he giving? Well, I don't want to see. I don't want to see Pochettino lifting a fucking trophy. Fuck off. Go what on, bro. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't deserve one. No, fuck that. Why is no, he going to lift the trophy? So, so, so you prefer us to lose? So Pochettino doesn't lift the trophy. Bro, I need a wank, bro. I'm, I'm gonna go, bro. Okay. Because I've been watching. I've been listen, listen. I, I've been watching. Uh, I, listen, I've been watching Oliver Glasner. Listen, listen, listen. I've been watching Oliver Glasner at, at Crystal Palace, and the the way he played, the way Oliver Glasner played, I I did ten wanks on Oliver Glasner. I'm not gay, but I fucking love Oliver Glasner. <laughs> I fucking love Oliver. And listen what Sergio Conceição did to Arsenal. Oh listen, you God, I love you. I like you, but you're shameless. You don't rate Carabao Cup, right? You're going to be kicked out of Porto. Porto are coming to become the next, we call, you know, the Porto, what they did at Man United? They became a one billion team when they knocked out Man what? United in Champions League. Porto is ready because every like- single of they, they play like a team. They don't play like Pochettino. They don't play like Arteta. They are a fucking team. They're going to become one billion. And you got, your team's going to be out. They're going to be out of fucking Champions League. And they're not going to win the Premier League. And listen, Liverpool, you're not going to win the Premier League too either. So City's going to win the league. Fuck you, Liverpool. Fuck you. Listen, 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 you went, you, you, the guy with the glasses, you, he's spitting. I mean, you can you put me away from this fraud so I don't be associated yeah, with him? He, he put me beside Prime, please. Ten times. Oh, I'll, I'll rather, oh, here we go. I'll rather be beside Prime. <laughs> oh. Hey, I stand by Bush. Hey, put me next to Bush. That's you stand by Bush? Oh. You in the oh, Bush. Yeah, yeah, he's not lying. He's not lying. <laughs> I got Bush. He said, he said, he said, I'm staying by Bush. <laughs> 
I he doesn't rate God. Kai Sado, but then he rated Kai Sado. There's 10 wanks to Oliver Glasnar. Yo, I was going to say, I like that guy, and I felt sorry. You know what? He's lifted the mood a little bit. He's lifted the mood a bit. It's true. Oh, uh, really? Uh, yes, lived... Krasner. Yes, he's a very good manager. How I didn't ask about that. I was talking about I like, uh, lifted the mood. He didn't lift nothing. Yeah, I mean, I've gone from being angry to just being a bit confused. I guess that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the last episode? He admitted that he's bisexual. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> Yes, I do. Remember, he remembered he, he yeah. admitted he's bisexual. Uh, Actually, yeah, yeah, so I'm not even too surprised. Fair enough. Yeah. How you can Fair trust enough. a person who gives and receives? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Christmas to me. <laughs> uh, Darren says, thoughts on bringing back the radio. Yes, you are right now. Bush, Bush, you're right. Cluster speeds before he receives. You're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, my days, man. <laughs> MD said, should love loaned out Broya. I don't know how that fixes that situation at all. You how know what? We should not let GD Drogba retire. How about that? Yeah. We, we, we should or, have just dragged Hazard back or, to the club all, without fucking or, retirement. Or English, all English fans. It's all on fucking you. You're the one that voted for your government that sanctioned Roman. So fuck all of you. That's yeah, number one. You English twat. I didn't I didn't vote. <laughs> you didn't vote I'm, sa no, I'm you saying like you're a Tory. When you when you say like, oh, <laughs> it's not Rory, no. <laughs> oh, so Chelsea fans came up to me like that. I was like, huh? They fucking told me. I made a vote in my life. Fuck you know. Hey, I'm everything to half this fan base. So yeah, really. Can you, can you remove that. that suicidal video off? Because this guy can't just pull the trigger. But he'd be yeah, trying I'm, and I'm trying and trying. fucking brain yeah, no splatter worries. against the window, and it's not happening. Every time it don't happen, I get more and more upset. Like he keeps no, worry, if I drop a video like that saying it's match day, Carlito told me not to watch the game. So uh, hey Steve, you saw Luca Madrid's goal just now? Did he actually say yeah. that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been saying yeah, yeah. Not. Every time I drop those, it's match day to he's uh, like, don't watch them. I'm telling you right now, Croatia. I, it, I will watch. How dare you? Oh, you right now. How, how can my how can my man simultaneously be at, like the most anti like proper Chelsea and yet a perfect example of what proper Chelsea is in the same time? <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Carlito. He's Carlito. Oh, Carlito, he's a weirdo, man. Carlito's yeah. got a TV stand. I don't, yeah, was, I don't yeah, mind him his opinions, him, but he it. definitely has an elitist mindset. I don't like this. Yes. He said, he said, yes. He said, yes. He said that he never like. wanted Enzo and Casado. That's bullshit. And what? Would, I know that. Bullshit. He said on Paris Alec, that we, he never wanted been on those streams, bro. He, he bigs me... He, Last season, when Enzo came in, he came, he came on about five streams in a row and used to, and was bigging me up every single time because we'd signed Enzo and I taught and yes, I've been the one that introduced that him to vividly. Enzo every single stream for about five six streams straight. I remember that vividly. Vividly, yeah. Can you spell vividly? Vivid, v i v i t l y. It's like it's like a girl trying to use those hard words. You know? <laughs> Exquisitely. It's like it's like that. It's like that. Uh, what's his name? He said exquisitely. El El what? Eloquently. 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 As Gary Bay, as 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 Gary Neville said, Eloquently. said they are billion pound bottle jobs. Eloquently. Disgrace. Why people using such a hard words? I can't even yeah. say the the simple words of mess them up. <laughs> Um, Dinishan says, how dare Poch ask players to go to penalties versus kids? That's our manager. That's it our manager. They got to Rigo part saying Poch hasn't lost to players because he's too soft on them. He's a weak-minded coward and the players know it. Fuck Gallagher and his stance. I think the players are just confused, but they just follow whatever this guy says. Again, Andrew, Andrew, I understand what Andrew me meant that the way I understand what Andrew meant, actually. Uh, anyway, guys, I gotta go. I need the freaking rest. I right, big uh, up, man. Rest up, rest up. Today's taking a lot out of everybody. Big up to the D Town you. saying Pot doesn't coach to win the matches. Bush. The Bush. See, don't spit on anybody. The Bush. Prime is a cold inside your house. Right. <laughs> it's gully. <laughs>
Anyway, guys, see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, big up, man. Big up, big up. Yeah, bugs. Take care, man. We wow. actually bottlers. We bottled it. See that. We did. Unbelievable. Poch Unbelievable. That's what it was. Big up, D-Town saying Poch doesn't coach to win matches. He coaches not to lose. That mentality is clear as day in your team, and it won't change until he's gone. Yeah, we've seen it in numerous games. When when we go up against Arsenal, he takes off all of our forwards. Well, when we're two one up at, at fucking Tottenham, and he tries to slow down the game, and it takes Cole Palmer just saying "fuck you," I'm gonna hoof the ball forward for us to bag another Man two. Man City, Man City, again. Like, we've we've seen this for ages, but again, be happy. We, we drew at Man City. No one expected us to draw at Man City. You gotta be happy. Stop being negative. Trust the process. Believe in the manager and all of this shit. Trust what? Process I can't wait until you. Process. I can't wait until you guys see that fan cam. That drops tonight. I can't wait till oh, you boy. lot see that. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Kind of because, like, I, I really tried to press Alex to tell me why he's still potching, but I, I couldn't you know, get an answer. I couldn't get an answer. <laughs> I do need to get this, this stream started with him because I, I need yeah. this potching and out stream. Big up to Cameron saying, imagine Bowley getting a fresh cut and seeing us lose like that. Can we talk about most of our players and manager ignoring the owners? Maybe patience is thin. Did players ignore the owners as well? I didn't see anything close it's to that. It's called tension. Yeah. It's called it's called professional sports when things ain't going right. You don't want to be in the building when you're a high profile sports organization and you're losing. It's one of the worst. Well, you you look at interviews with former players of whatever sport, former executives. They all say it's terrible to be in the building as an employee when the team sucks. It's terrible. No one wants to be there. No one wants to say hi to each other. It's like it's a it's broken. That's what that is. Well, so That's why exactly. we trying to hear from them after that performance? Why These you Liverpool hear from fans are constantly yeah. indirecting Caicedo's mother as well. It's just oh, fuck off, bro. It's a fucking disgrace. Were they doing fuck what? Those They're constantly possible. indirecting Caicedo's mother. That's mm. Oh, they complained about B uh, Tech Lewis singing about their dead ninety-seven yeah. people. Right? Yeah. So I'll be talking yep, about just stuff like this going around on the timeline. It's always there's always stuff on Caicedo's mum doing the rounds, but it's again stuff where I keep saying Chelsea Liverpool brings out the worst in both fan it bases. It does, it, got, it yeah. brings out the, the worst, worst in people. Yeah, Cameron says, mm -hmm. Oh no, yeah, that was already that. done. That but 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 let's 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 analyze oppositions, he yeah, just barbecues. Can't cook. Yeah, can't cook. Yeah, yeah, but Poch just barbecues and then just touches his lemons to see if he can get the vibe of the players around him. Uh, uh, Poch was, was the game. We lost because of Poch's oh, tactics in extra time. Sack him. Facts. And the structure. <clears throat> like, our tactic was dead ass hoof the ball up to Jackson and see if he can get one off Van Dyke. Lewis, are you finished with the super chats or is there, one, is there more left? No, no, there's, there's a few left. There's a few left. And big up to Neon Gibbs saying Freddie Gibbs needs to calm down. I'm not sure who that one was referenced to. And um, Dinishan says, how can Klopp oh make guy. these kids Freddie look Gibbs good? How, how, aka good structure? A system. You didn't really Simple make these kids that. look good. You were just poor. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. And that too. Pratt says half the Liverpool team that beat us are asleep now because it's past their bedtime. <laughs> Under 21s on a nothing salary beating a 1 billion <laughs> squad. Sickening. Um, Paul, thank you for your donation. We are not reading Havertz prop. <laughs> big up to Anthony I'll read it, I'll big up Lewis I'll read it. Go for it. You can read it. With Havertz in this team, we would have had this game done by halftime. Kiss my fucking ass. That's what you can do. You fucking cunt. No way yeah. Havertz would have um, done that. Yeah, here's why I figured wait, out. I mean, yeah. Havertz, Havertz would have... <laughs> by the way. I don't, don't even don't even rise to debate. Like this is awful. Just thank you for the donation. Anti Lafleur says, "Pick up Lewis in the chat." Feel bad for you guys for today's results. And Poch is a bum. Big fucking facts, man. Big fucking Yo, facts. Dude, fucking he's today, an unwashed dude. bum. Oh, um, LC Badder says, "Look at Jimmy and Lewis. I'm dead." That was when fucking Klazref was doing Klazref, the rounds. Yeah. See that says. Yeah. See, even my attending thinks Klazref is on medication. Listening to this guy rant in passing is not bullying. It's my diagnosis. Again, okay, anything would just it would answer a lot <laughs> yeah. of questions. But big up to Klazref. Yeah. Lot of super chat from Andrew saying the only thing that's keeping me from losing my head is I'm leaving for my honeymoon tomorrow. Need a vacation hey, from this club. Big hey, up panel. Man. Watch out. Yeah, I'm not running you, my guy. Yeah, run yeah, as far yeah, away yeah. as you can from this mess. Yeah, get the fuck away. Don't turn back. 
And don't tune in on Wednesdays. Just live in your wife's guts. <laughs> get, get, get away, get away like Chernobyl. Bro. Don't watch the Leeds yeah. game, bro. Just yeah. get the scoreline at the guts. end and just be like, all right. Cool. Watch the Leeds game, it's going to be embarrassing. Leeds oh, look, the fan comes up already. Good. Okay, good, good, good. I want to see the comments uh, of that. People tell me to trust the process now. Please. Why? Look, Where is Lewis, the Leeds magic, the, you know. Lewis, is the, are you done with the Super Chats? Yeah, yeah, we're all done. Uh, uh, anything? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Kosovo, thank you for the donation too, bro. But go yeah, on. Thank you. Jimmy, before I came on, you were talking about Gallagher and how he's the central piece of this team. Yes. <laughs> I remember <laughs> Andrew was arguing with me on this and saying, oh, you have to give Pot credit. Um, all season, Gallagher has been playing basically every single game. He's been our every captain year. for the vast majority of them. We of all them. know the midfield, the team's built around him. Yep. I remember the only one saying this, Lewis. I said this on the stream for the watch along for the second leg against Middlesbrough. Gallagher was dropped for that game randomly. And I remember saying on the stream that Poch overthought this second leg and he didn't stand it, on bid like, dropping his best player. And people started attacking me, saying, Why am I defending Gallagher? Prime, stop complaining, <laughs> yada yada yada. Now we won the game at 5 1, so it didn't matter. But people didn't get my point. And the biggest game of our season. You randomly drop your your most important player because you overthought it. The same thing he's done against um, when we played them in the semi final, like when you had Conte, when you played Son at left wing back, the Champions League final, when you played an unfit Harry Kane, you've been over the your whole career. I don't trust La Corona. What's his name? That's what's bad. Cryer? Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora. No, what is, no, what, is, Lucas Mora what, no, what, what, what does his mother call him? La, La Corona? La Lorana. La Lorana. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah. bad. Oh, sorry. He's called him a bitch-ass nigga. That's what he called him. He's trying to make his whole career. I remember yeah. saying all of this for the second leg, and people were telling me that, oh, you can't say that, that he overthought it or whatever. You have to give him credit that we won. The reason why I don't give him credit for good games that we have because they are so rare that we have to call them, or at least I will call them a fluke. You can't fluke a result and expect me to praise you if you don't do it repetitively going forward. People praise that City game, but at the end of the day, the guy bottled the lead. Why did people yeah. expect anything different today? I said we'd either get, we'd either lose three 0 because Poch won't set us up properly, or we'll take the game the penalties and win. I didn't see us winning it in normal time. I didn't see Poch either setting us up properly to win, or even if he does set us up properly, he will still eventually do something to mess it up. Those 90 minutes were spot on perfect. The players should have finished their chances. But in extra time, you take the foot off the gas. I don't mind sitting back and trying to be defensive and trying to hit on the counter. I don't care what style you play as so long as it's effective. But when you are just allowing these the, the kids in midfield to roam Liverpool's midfield, to just roam about dominate us when we can't defend the two goals we conceded the van dyke offside one and yeah. uh van dyke's header that stood two similar set pieces that we can't defend we've been conceding set pieces all season like i i am i'm the biggest Prime, I'm the biggest critical say, of players, but right now, in this game, okay. every I'm fucking not, single finish. motherfucking player should hold their ha head up high because this manager <laughs> cost the Neymar, <laughs> Messi, and Mbappe <laughs> League One. <laughs> this, got was, Victor, man. this fucking... Oh, this manager, but listen, oh, I, I don't respect these players much. Everybody knows, right? But today, the way Casado was playing, Colwell was playing, the Saucy, Gusto, everyone should have... Ha listen, they went to Wembley to, uh, to have a system. And this manager has parked a bus and made rubbish substitutions. What is this? What I, this what is I, a sack. This is a sack. You let listen. I I I I say our players are young, but this Liverpool players were really young. There was a guy from Gerald. Nobody knows from Ghana, Gambia. Can nobody you stay knows away from him. Them as well, please. <laughs> yeah, stay away from the young G's as well in the Liverpool squad and our squad. We had to. We listen. We had young players, but their young players were shitter than us. What? What? 
Huh? Uh, listen, watch your team you go away. Leave. Listen, our our young players showed you respect. They followed you, as Andrew was saying. Uh, our players followed the manager because they are nice people. Because Enzo didn't punch anybody. He was nice. Modric was nice. Everybody was nice. Colwell was playing like as a captain. Chilwell was fighting with their players. So players are fine. This Pochettino, fuck off. I know players are not even fine, but this manager is rubbish because we were playing with shitter Liverpool team. Do you get me? Fuck get you, Pochettino. Yeah. Leave us yeah. alone. Leave. Yeah, yeah, Poch out. Yeah, Poch out. We agree. Oh, yeah, get him out. Poch out. Get him out. Poch out. Poch out. Oh, Go suck him up, Poch. Leave. <laughs> I'm with Klazref on that one. People think I'm joking. Get the fuck out of my club, you prick. If this guy's out tomorrow, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to go drink his straight first thing in the morning if this guy's out. He, he out. ain't going to be sacked tomorrow. Like We're, we're, yeah, we're going to be cooking the directors tomorrow regardless. But well, I know Bro, he ain't going to go. How sacked. far do we have to keep going down? We're going to wake up to a club statement. Come on, man. Relegation, man. Relegation. It will take us losing yeah. to Leeds and probably losing another league game or two and then maybe they'll sack away. Him. Maybe. Saturday. Right away. Oh, yeah, that'll be the one. This, Fuck this, you, this, dick. I'm telling you, Leeds is, is going to be a tricky game. Because they play... Yeah, they're on beating in nine, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Somerville oh, is fun. a very good player. Um, Watch, they, got, I they got a good team. They got a good little team. Yeah. I guarantee we can see the first goal. We're going to start giving up. We're not going to start counter-attacking. We're going to just give up. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just know Leeds played on Friday, so they're going to have more rest. Like we just played a Liverpool team that played four days ago and we still look tired. So God knows what state we're going to be in for Wednesday after 120 minutes. Not only that, who the fuck is going to play? Yeah. It's Kaseda can't play. Squad. Messi squad. <laughs> Kaseda can't play. Can't play. Yeah. No. yeah, we we spoke about it because oh, we, he we, plays we for might see side. a rare Chukumeka appearance. Yeah, he's cup tied. He's not, he's not in, back from injured. injured. And injured. Yeah. He won't even oh, on the fuck. Yeah, Connie's not back. Yeah, man. Leeds have won. Oh, got hooked off, so he'll get another 90. Poch is not getting yeah. sad, bro. Like, come on. He's... Oh, we know he ain't getting sad. No, some guy just said, oh, Poch is getting sacked. Some guy yeah, said, yeah, no, yeah. These guys are just sure. chat shit. Bro. Leeds well, haven't lost well, since um, 12, uh, since four days after Christmas. Well, I'm going to be real. If Poch airing Bowley's handshake is what it takes for him to get sacked, then Bowley's a dickhead. Yeah. Just Sorry. But that, but that won't be it because he's not going to get sacked. Like, I, I would love to wake up tomorrow by, to him being sacked, but I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow and just cook these directors and these owners a bit more. Because they're Poch taking won't piss. get sacked until April, like Potter. Yeah, well, you ain't gonna see that. It won't even be that, I'll be honest. No. Oh, just I summer. I didn't it. believe he's gonna get until the summer. Yeah. Well, I mean, if this dickhead qualifies for Europe, which I don't think will happen, I'll still keep him. <laughs> wait, wait. Impossible. Do you guys remember the sources saying um, Ebali wants well, um, Poch out? But yeah. Ebali doesn't want Poch out, but Bolly does. Yeah. No, it was the other way. Barley wanted oh, him out, fuck. and then Bowley uh, wanted him in. That's wild. I thought you were, I thought maybe that's why he shake his son. And then apparently, like a couple of days ago, someone said, "Oh no, it was actually the other way round." And I don't know. I think it was just a fake rumor to begin with. Mm. Who knows, man? He fucking stink. Yeah, Jack Burton, you're right. Willie Nonto and uh, Somerville. Yeah, they got they got very good wingers, and they've they've um. What is Nonto still there? Nonto's yeah, at Nonto's Leeds, Nonto's yeah. Still there. He wanted to leave, but then they didn't let yeah, him. Yeah, I was saying, I Leeds. Yeah. So, so since, since December 29th, they've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen games. All of them wins, one draw. Now, well, so I do want to say as well, just for the mods as well, if people are here bantering, don't time out or block because yeah. I, I, I. I've got a couple screenshots that a lot of people are getting timed out for, for banter. Yeah, and I, I was, yeah, it it's a long day. It's been a very fucking long day, but like we, we can't do that. We as long as it's that. not like any racism, of it racism yeah. and all that stuff, yeah, yeah, do that. But like just a bit of banter, I can't lie. As much as we hate it, we're going to have to hold that today. We're going to have to hold that. Is Ampadu really on loan? 
Do Speaking you know, of, big up, big up to Grizz in the chat and saying, what are you telling me, people? I, w I want to unalive myself. I want to unalive myself. But... Also, hey, GG, yeah. my friends. GG. I mean, it's not like we ever deserve yeah, to win that game, game anyway, so. Yeah. Not a fucking chance. Yeah. I can't say anything except good game. Good game. Yeah. Big up, Christopher, for the donation, saying I saw your fan cam. I'm just baffed about it. So am I. I just, I, my mind just, pssst. Just gave up. Oh, yeah. Maldini, thank you for that. Bless up, brother. Appreciate it. Ravage <laughs> says, do you think we wasted 800 million on these players? No. No. These, we can't judge them to a conclusion with this dickhead in charge, my friend. Because I keep saying we are not a 10th place team. We're not. We just, we're being made to look like that because of this Satanist in charge, this tyrannical fucking dictator prick. That's the main problem. That's the main problem. Um, and man said Anfield South is a humbler. I mean, no. fairs. It's fairs. Nothing beats like losing to an inexperienced team, but hey, 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 you, we have too many kids in the squad. We have too many <laughs> kids in the squad. Mm -hmm. like, Everybody's what's, what's agendas what's against these individuals just got binned today. You can't yeah. talk to me about inexperience. Yeah. You can't talk to me about youth. You can't talk to me about none of that. None of that. I just saw an actual coach coach a bunch of under 21s to dominate a game against us fuck off yo lewis guess what uh leeds average 11 age is uh when they played leicester city on friday over or under 25 20 Josh, what's your guess Leeds United, their squad, their their starting 11 what, what do you think their average hmm. age was under 25 or over over. Because, oh, um, under. Anto is 21. Some of you are like 20. Yeah, but they've got tons of players like Bamford. Like Bamford. Bamford. Not, not Bamford don't start for them. Not now. Bamford don't start for them. Rota, Rota starts for them. It's 23.7. 23. 23.7. That's their average age under. of their 11. So the same as ours. Thereabouts. Is it the same as yours? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, God knows how. how so well, they're inexperienced too. So everybody's agenda is going to get binned again on Wednesday if Leeds advance. Don't worry. We'll do some 1 0 Cole Palmer penalty and pretend we've turned the corner. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, let's yeah, go to the FA Cup. The oh. lads gave it their all. <laughs> Genuinely, the only <laughs> thing I care about that Leeds game is just move Arsenal. Are, move are you talking Arsenal about against game. Leeds? Oh, no. Gallagher yeah. will score in that game, will win. And all of a sudden, now it's gone. Gallagher, you think Gallagher Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll earn himself, like, plus 20 brownie points with the Yadars as well because, like, it's Leeds, it's dirty Leeds. Leeds and all of that. I swear. That man is going to get final. bought out, apparently. Oh, please. Like, go on. Like, we, we're, we're enough of a joke now, anyway. You might as well wheel out the Gallagher banner. Fuck it. Let's have a laugh. Go on. Might as well. Make make a Chilwell one too. Fuck it. He won the Champions League. He actually deserves one more than Chilwell if, and then Gallagher yep. if we really want to be shameless. Go on. Make Let Chilwell a banner. Make him I'm, I'm one. Captain. Make make oh, them yeah, both yeah. one. Dumb and dumber. Hideous twins. Go for it. Well, at least you probably save money. You can re recycle the mount one. In fact, fuck it. Add mount in there. Proper chels. Fuck it. Lewis, if you're going back again, please make sure Hassan that forward doesn't bring up anything about, oh, but Poch set them up well and they were just missing chance. And oh, we've gone. already been arguing in the group chat about it. Oh. We've already been arguing about it in the group chat. I already know what I'm walking into tomorrow, but I'm just going to make sure I'm high as a kite. So, like, I just don't care. The yeah, same my teeth, and I'm just a listers. When everyone else is talking, I promise you, I'm just gonna mute the whole thing. I'm just gonna play some ultimate team. When when they're all done, like then I'll talk. But I'll, I'll be real. I'm muting Egal. I'm muting. I'm muting Hamza. Oh. I want to mute M Michael. Big up Griggs. Like he, he's the only one that doesn't try to run agenda. So I'll listen to what he has to say. Everyone else, I'm muting. I'll be so real with you, just for my own mental state. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered for it. I have to hear this, this shit. Power. The same the crap agenda. I hear the bowling stuff, the end vote stuff. It'll be like, cool. I'm going to say the same things. I don't care. Yeah. 45 minutes smoke session. Everyone talk about my club. Great. Mute. <laughs> Not listen to that. <laughs> oh, who's rolled nah. through? Yes, bro. What are you saying, Fata, man? Mm. What are you saying? 
What the? Uh, 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 <laughs> Why are you surprised? Uh, what the? Why are you surprised? But, Potter, Potter, you you hear the answer to your crimes? I'm done. I'm done. I think even Fatter's pot trout now. Uh, bro, yeah. honestly, pot trout like that. Pot trout. Can I just say? Can I just say as well? I thought, I thought at the end, I don't, I don't think he should make that sub though. I don't think she should have been on her. Then he went to a back three. That's the thing that okay, he's gonna fuck it up. I just knew he was gonna fuck it up. I wasn't even a back three. It was just a shit shallow of a club. Yeah, it's just, Put him out just right back and go to like left back. And the guy you know said, what, Oh, let's play to penalties. Well, let's take it to yeah. penalties. Yeah, well, he's probably, probably seen Chalaber in training to take penalties. Actually, that's a good point to take right there. Why is Chalaber still getting fucking minutes, man? Honestly. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I got no energy uh, against Chalaber. It's just like. I mean, t- two games you bring him on and two games we concede. You're not making him look yep. good, bro. If this is your way of trying to raise his price value, you're you're even doing a shit job of that, mate. Hey, <laughs> he might start against Leeds. Oh, God. Well, you know, it's probably going to be out. a Leeds game. Kino is responsible for a oh, no, financial... Ch- Silver's still out, isn't he? He's injured. Yeah. What the fuck kind of team are we going to put out there? Fuck it all. That's why it's... Why is it? For, for the Leeds game. game, what fucking get team are we putting out? That's Which, by the way, watch along here on the channel. By the way, watch along here. I'm not going Leeds. Uh, your last shot, oh. Brentford. Lo- yeah, I'll probably go Brentford. I mean, I wouldn't put money on it, but like, I'm, right now, I feel like I'm, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm not going Leeds. I'm not going. <laughs> Fuck that. Man, call me Cody Rhodes. You know, I don't. I, I, I'm not looking like him. What the fuck? <laughs> the hair is good though. The hair is good though. Mm. Rate right, right, the treatment and everything. Why are you laughing, Prime? I know what you did in timeline. Stop, stop it. I didn't, I didn't see it. FA Cup watch alongs. Why FA Cup fixtures are on? Yeah, you can watch. You can watch me freak out as we lose to Blackburn Rovers. Let's go. Losing to Blackburn. Yeah, we will. The fuck. Team can't defend. Yeah, all these games are mid, except Chelsea. All the good games are on Wednesday, basically. Luton, Luton Man City will be very interesting, because I think Luton will give them a very, very difficult game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they might rotate. Just like Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah, well, like Worldwide Chelsea got blacklisted, bro. This peak. Yeah, Sadiq's still my guy and everything, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't think he can roll around Stamford Bridge or anything. Wait, yeah, what, what happened? Long We're we'll talk backstage, bro. We're we'll talk backstage. Yeah, yeah man, man got caught doing the touting. And it's like, yeah, match going fans are on to him, bruv. Thankfully, I don't think he was at the game wait, today for his own sake. What do you wait? Or, or what What does touting even mean? Doesn't you mean selling tickets? Touting, it's like selling tickets for above face value. That's normal, though. Like, you can find it online. But doesn't right? everyone do that? No, it's not. You can't do that. No, no, no. They sell, oh, we, we, like, yeah, okay. not everyone sells above. Like, most Chelsea fans sell face value for face value. That's me. Anytime I can't go to a game, sell it for the same price I bought it for. I don't do it above that. Because, like, it's an unwritten rule. For, you, don't, you don't try and take extra money off your own fans. Fuck it. Like, what's face the, value wait, well, Is there, like, yeah. a set price? Yeah, yeah. Just the price you bought the ticket for, innit? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I swear you're not allowed to sell it for more now. It's like yeah, yeah, you can't. You, you weren't allowed to sell it, sell it for, that for above that anyway. Mm. Any time if the club found you, you you're gonna get banned for it. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Yeah. Another. Man, I can't lie. For the rest of the season, I wish the worst upon Liverpool Football Club. Like before this game, mm. I was like, if we win this cup. You know what? I don't mind Liverpool winning the league because I don't want City doing the four P. But at this point, I don't give a fuck about City doing the four P or another back to back treble. Liverpool, I swear you won't. You won't. Wait, but if Arsenal win the league over Liverpool on the last day, that 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 that'll just, that'll just make it even worse. I'll be honest, but yeah. mm. City have got a job. City have got to say football. People yeah, are like, well, no. <laughs> if Harlem finishes his chances properly, then yeah. Yeah, it's facts. Thing is, if Arsenal win the league, you won't hear the end of it. They're gonna keep going on. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to see Arsenal win the league. That would be like the worst season 
Could I be uh, really here? Uh, see, if, hard, if we, if we, if we lose, if we lose on Wednesday, if we lose on Wednesday, we're not gonna see no European football. Yep, yeah, Conor Gallagher did a typical man today. <laughs> typical man. Nah, Mount mm-hmm. wasn't even that bad in that final. Fucking. Um, yeah, you, wow. you know what? Oh, you yeah, know he what? was. You know what? I'll say this. Yeah, he was. I'm I'm sorry scared of the chances that. on goal. There's one chance. I think time. Gallagher had a it good two. Game. Was it what for Mount? Mount missed two chances in the in the cup final. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, okay. That was a yeah, no, man, was one wide, one, one hit the post. Gallagher is yeah, like yeah. three or four to, uh, to yesterday. Missed, but the thing is, outside I of the chances, Mount missed two. outside of the chances, I think Gallagher had a good game. Um, he had a good game in the first half, if you ask me. You know what? Yeah, it was slow again, enough. You know, but again, that's the was thing really... with Gallagher, where he's playing as our attacking midfielder. Like I thought, I thought he had a good game, like running around and breaking up play and stuff. But as an actual attacking force, he didn't really do anything. And those chances, the positions that he was in, I said if this was in Cuckoo, if that was uh, Palmer playing essentially as a ten, or if that was Sterling it at the end, we score at least one of them and we win. Mm-hmm. But uh, Hodge, that's your guy though. That's your guy. Well, I still uh, feel like the this... Sterling goal should have counted. No. I, but what, I, like, was, I feel like if there was an actual offside, hand. there would have been a lot more outrage about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. Hand, I, can't lie. I really and truly like is what it is with that one. Nah, you know what pisses me off about this game? We were so close, but like yeah, so, so short same time. Like 120 minutes. And by the way, I, I turned off the game in 150 minutes because I just couldn't I, I, like, I just couldn't, yeah. And the fact that we can see it in the last like in Three minutes later, extra time yeah. of added extra time. Oh, it was, cool. that's the daggers of the daggers. If you ask me, I would have rather have lost on pens, but the daggers of the daggers. I said, I said, I said this on Jimmy's stream when I was there. I said, I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather lose. Um, if they were, you know, let's say we were pushing and trying to get that goal and for us to concede a counter attack, then to lose the way that we lost today. But we always. We always consider go from like quarters. Either way, the way we're going to lose wasn't going to yeah. be nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, either way, we were going to lose. Only one said, big chance you know, was, all game. I'd rather lose with pride, but fucking this manager has no balls, does he? Nah. No. So club does. No, you know what it is? You know what it is? Even the losing part, I don't get it. But this manager, he is an esteem. Like in history, he will go down as a serial loser manager yeah. or whatever. Oh, like, not I, even that. I genuinely pray for whoever hires him after he leaves the Chelsea job. Serious. As managers, are as fucking a man, do you not have pride to, to 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 actually defend in the last you know half an hour of the extra time against kids, and then to come out afterwards and say, yeah, that's what I wanted to do, and uh, we agreed as a team. Like, what do you mean we agreed as a team yeah. to do that? Do you not have pride? Are you not a man? Do you not have balls? That like, come on, man. No, he doesn't. You get, bro, Potch is so bad. He would get an MLS team relegated. <laughs> what, what, even was, what is there? does agree as a team even mean? You're 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 the manager. You're in charge. We don't agree. You follow my order. Oh, wow. We don't agree. The thing is, the thing is, yeah. you didn't even you didn't even you didn't even need to say that for me to know that was his time. Straight away, extra time. The way he played extra time, I knew he was trying to break the hmm. No, you know what's mad for me is. I could smell that he was preparing to lose before the game with the whole warnings about he was talking about, I think the referees want to go celebrate with Klopp leaving or I think that we had some bad decisions in, in, in the game we had at Anfield. My guy, we lost 4-1. We lost 4-1 deservedly as well. Yes, yeah. there were some bad decisions, but we lost 4-1 for a reason and I believe we deserve to have lost 4-1. And he's out here making excuses in the preview about, yeah, I think uh, the referee... First of all, let's be honest, Kavanaugh was half and half today. There were some decisions that went our way which shouldn't. And there were some decisions that went Liverpool's way. But it wasn't even on the ref today. Nothing on the ref. Yeah. I don't no the ref. ref. Oh. No, I, no I, thought, I, thought, I thought the ref yesterday or today, like, I thought he had a really good game. He let some things yeah. go. Yeah, from not, no, the ref, the ref, the, yeah. the, you know what he was? The, he wasn't ref, given those even even gave challenges. Us, even if, even, even gave us challenges. Was... He even gave us challenges, but I other referees wouldn't. So I thought yeah. he had a good game. Yeah. He kept it going. I'm, so. I'm just more upset he, the way he, that we he, he, The goal. only thing I didn't like, I thought Sterling's goal was onside. However, yeah. Van Dijk's goal was also chopped off. So it went both True. ways. So yeah. I, just, I don't have a problem with how the ref... I thought both goals though were. I thought Sterling's goal should have counted. 
and Van Dyke said it should have counted, but it is what it is. No, but Van Dyke's yeah. one, I think there was two fouls in it. One where he was but you had no problem with him, he was though. holding Colwell and not yeah, allowing but, Colwell no, to run with the didn't check the foul. They didn't, no, but they didn't check the foul. They checked offside. Mm. Oh, they checked offside? Yeah. Right, no, but and I was it wasn't offside. That's not my opinion. No, but you know, but most of it, you're right. VAR should check everything. But the way yeah. VAR works, the way the referees use it in England, they only check one particular incident. They don't check the whole thing. So, yeah. Welcome to the Premier League, man. No, hey, luckily it was a one-win loss. If it, if Nunes was playing as Salah, it would have been like a 4 0 loss. Yeah. Straight up. And you know what? Well, I wouldn't be so angry about this game if I knew that we had picked this sort of performances going forward. But we won't. Yeah. So it's pointless. It's, it's pointless for me to have some sort of hope. And it's also pointless for me to be angry because, like, being angry won't make a difference. Like, I, I, I was pissed coming on, but, like, I was also stuck out in the rain. I had to walk home for about 30 minutes because of the bus and stuff. I was pissed. But now I'm just like, who really cares? Yeah, that. Yeah, it's because we're numb to, like, two hours to get back from Wembley. And I took my train, went all the way to Clapham and back. Fucking hell, man. I've accepted this. Yeah, months, yeah. There was a nightmare getting very, into Wembley Park. It was just full of right, fucking right, scousers taking like, piss. But very, very early into the season, I accepted that we were going to be bad. I saw this, but so oh, it's Poch, yeah. I think, someone said, I think, "Damn it, Prime Night like, Chelsea Nigeria losing finals this month." Hey, listen, this Chelsea final loss doesn't hurt me. It doesn't yeah. hurt me. Yeah. But to be fair, you know what. I'm just more of hurt that I can't lie. The Wembley, I think that when that stadium is a curse, though. Like seven. It's losses. not. The, it's not the stadium. It's not the stadium. It's not playing it's our bad luck. That's what we have. Bro, that, bro, we've been cursing that place, man. Like we haven't won since that. It's season. not. It's, it's, it's just bad. It's just bad. Hey, it's just bad. 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 It's Bro, we we had like the easiest the out of all of those six opportunities yeah. to win today. Yeah, because of this motherfucker who deserves to die, obese prick. Oh, don't wish death on anyone. But if you do wish death on anyone, wish it on him. <laughs> so I don't wish death on anyone. But he right, he said exactly that's what I just said. Don't wish death on anyone. But if anyone deserves to be wished death on, but it's him. Steve, you're laughing like a lady, you know. Huh? Dude, drag him out of Chelsea. Like hey, you look like a fucking lady. You look like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> she uh, fucking got motherfucker, a at least I pulled today, pussy. Uh, Respect my name. Uh, no, you didn't. I thought from what you just revealed in the group chat, I wouldn't be calling anyone else pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to group chat. Someone just said, Prime, you still laughing at Arsenal now. Yeah. Oh, wait, because they don't want anything. Wait, me? Don't get me wrong. If what Arsenal mean? do lose to Porto, I'm still being shameless. I'm keeping the shamelessness. Uh, I'm, 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 am I still laughing at Arsenal? Wait, um, wait, hold on. Well, if they don't win the league, if they don't, if they don't win the Prem or they don't win the Champions League this season, I'm not going to laugh at whoever I want. Oh, Listen, wow. I, la I laugh at Reece James when he gets injured. You think I can't laugh at Arsenal? That's some shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's some shit. <laughs> By anyway, the way, Chelsea fans, Chelsea fans, I think most of you guys know that your team sucks. The manager oh, yeah. sucks. I mean, everyone like, here knows you that. Guys, you guys are aware of your place. Obviously, Lee Akers, yes. Arsenal are levels ahead. I, I, I Obviously, I le they're levels ahead of Chelsea, of course. So the, the tables Arsenal, would say if, that. Chelsea, if most Chelsea fans know that the team and manager really sucks, they may as well just laugh at others because they know that yes, they yes. will get laughed at you, as well. You just anyway. basically explained me. That's me. I just said if Arsenal do this to Porto, I'm staying shameless. I don't care how bad this team is. By the way, yeah, you're supposed to. It's a rivalry. It's yeah, it's, exactly. it's yeah, you're supposed to have rivalries or not. The funny thing was when a girl came for two minutes and then he was like, yeah, I've got to go now. And I wanted to see what Alex was going to say back at him. Uh, what was it? Uh, the, the football terrace. A girl came, oh, yeah. hold that, hold that. Da, da, da. He was talking a big game and he's like, yeah, sorry, I've got to leave. And he just cuts. I wanted to see what Alex wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, man. That's all crazy. But, oh, I'm going to be so real. I, I, I need to lie down after today. It's been fucking long. Guys, I'm going to send you over to um, Casually FC.
Casualty FC is going to be live. We will be back tomorrow, one hundred percent. Um, let me just make sure I've redirected. If YouTube doesn't want to be a fucking asshole, what is this shit doing? There we go. I've re redirected. All right, cool. Everybody, head over. Everybody, head over. Tell them potch out. And yeah, guys, just uh, try and have a good night. Try and have a good night. Get, get I need to wake up to this dick.